Hey everyone, you're listening to the official podcast of 4PlayerNetwork.com. Check us out at that address for everything you need to know about our community, monthly giveaways, and nightly live streams. You can even support us on Patreon at patreon.com slash 4player. And last but not least, you can catch the live recordings of these podcasts every single Thursday night on our Twitch channel. We hope to see you there. Enjoy. podcast we're definitely gonna have a podcast you know why because this is the intro go my god what's what can i do for you crispy he's holding his breath until you go uh uh uh, hey everyone welcome to the podcast (laughs) episode 538 of four player podcast my name is nick henderson i am joined this evening of course by crispy hey how's it going why were you holding your breath because you weren't starting the fucking show it was a protest oh okay i'm sorry i'm sorry i didn't mean to almost kill you nolan (laughs) how's it going everybody and Christopher Davis. Hello, hello. And, uh, Nolan? What's up? You, a thing. I do. You purchased I've, a thing. I have many things. You didn't, he didn't purchase a thing. Yeah. He, well, he gave somebody money, and then that person gave him that. <laughs> that's called... <laughs> Sounds that's, like a purchase. So you can buy people in that case. Yeah. Illegally. Yeah. Through adoption. Yeah. Because I adopted a dog. Yes, you did. And the dog... What's the dog's name? His name is Butters. Or as Bernadette's dad likes to call him, Butter. <laughs> Butter. <laughs> Butter. Have you, have you corrected him on this? Or nope. He... Oh, okay. I'm sure he probably knows because everyone around him is saying the word Butters. Close enough. But he's not putting the S on he's there. He's probably thinking, why do people keep adding an S to the <laughs> end of his name? What is... Uh, but yeah, he is a six-month-old six uh, husky. And... Uh, and he just got neutered. Uh, so he's like wearing the cone of 50, shame. 56 hours ago. <laughs> and he seems pretty spry considering he's just had his, yeah. you know, junk yeah. uh, messed with, yeah. if you if you will. Uh, but yeah, he's, he's wearing the cone of shame. He's in the room with us while we're recording this. So you may occasionally, he's chewing on a giant bone and uh, hitting everything in his path with the cone. So mm-hmm. you might hear that every once in a while. So for that, I apologize, but it's adorable. So who really cares? Let's talk about video game stuff. Before we do that, uh, just want to remind everybody, Discord. .gg slash 4player? Yes, Discord.gg slash 4player. It's our Discord. We'd love to have you in there. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Sorry. Nick, it's okay. So this is going Nick to be the dog distraction show. Around dogs. I can't. I really have trouble controlling myself around dogs. Usa. Okay, I'm good. Discord.gg slash four player. That's where you can join our lovely community, talk about video games, and argue with Carlos about memes and things. And John Wick Two. John Wick Two, for instance, today, uh, he was blaspheming all over the TV game or TV movies film channel Mm -hmm. uh but yay whatever it's fun good conversation happening in there every single day we'd love to have you discord.gg slash four player of course also like to mention our our patreon campaign uh one dollar one dollar per month can get you the ability to not only get early access to all of our podcasts without ads but you can also ask us questions oh did he just break that bone probably sorry you also get to ask us questions, which we're going to answer some questions in the second second segment of the show today, obviously, uh, which is always a fun segment, so stick around for that. Is there anything, any uh, before we get on to the video games, anything other than the dog that y'all want to mention? Anything y'all been watching, starting? Not that I, I finally got around to watching The Handmaiden. I have never seen that. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. It's very fucking long. The Korean movie. Correct. That is a great movie. It is. I love that. Yes. The one thing I will note that I never really knew going in, I didn't really know going into it, the sound design in that movie is fantastic. Right? It is ridiculous. Holy shit. Wait, where'd you watch that? Um, Mainly right um, here. No, I mean like you bought it on Blu-ray or hmm? you rented it? Or... Yeah. yeah. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Never mind. I'm, I was like, I'm done engaging. I was like, no, Crispy, don't ask the question. Uh, I've heard the movie's pretty good. It is. It was, it was delightful. I started watching Ozark. Ah, I wa- I did watch that Ozark. on with uh, Jason Bateman. Yeah, it's a pretty good show. It's like Netflix, but in the Ozarks. Yeah, Netflix. You mean in the Breaking? Ozark? Not you mean Netflix. Breaking Bad. In the it's Ozarks? on Netflix, like Breaking Bad in the Ozarks. Yeah, and it has that same um, real like. Entertaining, but also really depressing quality that Breaking yeah. Bad has. Yeah, 
Uh, and it's been so long since I've watched Breaking Bad that I had forgotten. But yeah, that show's dark and yeah, fucked up. It is. But also kind of funny and pretty good. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I'm enjoying it so far. I watched the Lego Ninjago movie. Oh, how was that? It was pretty good. Really? <laughs> I They're don't know how they keep doing it. it. I don't know how they keep doing it. It was pretty funny. I, I mean, liked I've, it. I've heard, I've heard pretty much all the Lego It's also pretty great. good as a parody of like Power Ranger Super Sentai stuff. Now, mm-hmm. it's not as good okay. as the, the two preceding Lego movies. Yeah. But it's still like pretty damn entertaining. Hey, Lego Batman was pretty great. It's funny. I enjoyed that one quite a bit. I never saw that one. It's Lego Batman is great. And for some reason, all of these movies revolve around like failed father figures. So like, what's going on at Lego? Ouch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's true. Like, I still haven't seen the Lego movie. What? Yeah. I haven't seen it Did either. I say Super Hentai? <laughs> I don't believe you did. <laughs> I said Super Sentai. Chat I mean, hears what but... they want to hear. <laughs> it's very easy to see the difference. I mean, see why people might make right, that mistake. Right. It's a good mistake to make. <laughs> <laughs> Especially when you type it wrong into Google. Yeah. Um. Anything else? Any? Did anyone here see the Cloverfield Paradox yet? Oh, oh I, yeah, I heard I it was did. bad. Oh. I actually did I read watch reviews it. For I, it. Yeah, I've, I've heard some things about it. I don't want to watch it yet. So I actually wanted to watch it before the reviews came out. So after, right after the Super Bowl, when I watched Kevin Hart try to get on stage and oh, it was yeah. denied, and I pointed out and I was like, Brenda, that's Kevin Hart. And she's like, no, it's not. It was. Yes, it was. Um, after that, yeah, I was how like. How could she not tell it was Kevin Hart? Because it looked like a 12-year-old. Yeah, Kevin <laughs> Hart looks like a 12-year-old. <laughs> um, but, um. Uh, so yeah, we decided. Hey, you know what? Uh, Tin Cloverfield Lane was amazing. I still haven't seen was that. It? Yes. It's really good. Have you not seen? I it? didn't like Cloverfield one. So oh, it has nothing to do I with completely it. Completely different. Um, but anyway, uh, so I was like, you know what? Let's just watch it without knowing anything about it because there's actually a lot of good actors in it. Yeah. Um, so we watched it and it's okay. I I I don't think it deserves as low of a, low of a rating as it has. Yeah. Okay. Um, I think it's uh, for me. It's a solid you know B minus. I'm really confused. Okay. I, I'm. Having not seen the second and third Cloverfield mm-hmm. movies, the, I am this is so confused. This is this is yeah. okay. That's what I'm saying. None I, of them have anything to do with each other. I know. Besides and the overarching except universe that they are in. But that's but like, br- that's really but what it. is that universe? I don't understand. It'd be like if we had did this it's podcast a where weird things happen, <laughs> and someone else did a podcast next door. They're on the same like right. planet, but they have nothing Whoa. really to do with each yeah. other. Whoa, yeah. man. You're blowing my mind. Yeah. You know, I, I I always did want to watch 10 Cloverfield Lane, but... It is a really good movie. I know. And one day I will. They just added Hot Fuzz to Netflix. Dude. Which, like, no, I, it's been on there for no. a while. Yeah. No. It's been I'm on there for it. a while. That's how I saw it for like the a first few months time. Ago, like a couple months ago when we had this conversation, we all called me fucking crazy for not uh, having They might have Fuzz. taken it off and put it back on. Yeah, SVB. it came back. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, there we go. Well, anyway... Did you but watch Hot it? No, no, I mean, I just, okay. I noticed it last night. I haven't got a chance to watch, watch it yet, but it's Hot on my Fuzz, list now. you mean the greatest action comedy ever? That's what I, I heard. I stand by it. I stand by it. That movie's incredible. Well, I love it. It's pretty fucking good. You don't have to convince me. I'm planning on watching it. Fuck you, it. Nick. Watch it. Okay. It's really good. I haven't seen the end of the Cornetto trilogy. Nobody, nobody, nobody edits comedy like Edgar Wright does. Like, it's no. just. Mm, Edgar it's Wright can't be wrong. Can't be wrong. Mm. It's so good. Yeah, I'm gonna watch that. I'm gonna okay. I'm gonna rectify this. Fantastic. Very very soon. Good. Um, but anyways, I also I spent so much money over the. You past bought a weekend. TV. I bought a a 55 inch OLED. Uh, I bought a PS4 Pro, and because I needed it for my surround Finally sound, getting a, a console, I got a new huh? receiver. Finally got a new console. Look at oh, it's an A console. Oh. Uh huh. Uh huh. I already had a PS4 motherfucker. Oh, you did? Yeah, I didn't know that. I borrowed un. Why would I borrow Uncharted: The Lost Legacy from you, if 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 I don't have anything to play it on? Maybe you just wanted to look at a good game for once. Oh wow! Shots Fuck fired. you! Because you I'm thought sorry. you were gonna put your dick through the little <laughs> spindle hole. <robot. laughs> I feel like the first thing I'm gonna do as soon as I have everything hooked up, uh, porn. There's actually a lot of HDR content on Netflix. No, there is. Oh, yeah, and, and, and you know what? I've watched some HDR, HDR content on there, and yeah. it looks okay. <laughs> Well, I, I I got the Netflix 4K for a while, and then I downgraded because it honestly wasn't worth it. Like, don't get me wrong. It looks good, but unless you have them side by side, you can't really tell. I'm just saying, Daredevil is one of those shows yeah, that's yeah, HDR. Definitely. Yeah. And that, I look forward to that fucking black level. Nick, how much has he destroyed that? Uh, no, I good. mean, it's... Okay. 
There's still a lot of bone left, but yeah, he's it's got, considerably less than there was a few minutes ago when I looked got at a it. Ways to I might, go. I might take it away from him for a bit just to. I want to see how, how I want to see how much of that bone he can eat during this podcast. <laughs> Probably all of it. Probably he, so. He'd try. You yeah. should get some. Uh, he's got nothing better to do. He's got a cone on his head. Well, he can't really. I do need much. to give him some medicine during the break, and so I didn't want him to like ruin his appetite because I need him to eat a little bit. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. You should, yeah, you should look into like chicken rawhides. Those are pretty good. There's, like a chicken. There's also uh, deer antlers. Aren't there like uh, like buffalo balls? They're really expensive. I don't know. Buffalo Sorry, balls. we got distracted by yeah. by uh, by dog stuff again. Um. All right, we have some game stuff to discuss. Uh, I also want to thank everybody who came and who showed up no. on uh, on was that Sunday? No. Yeah, that was Sunday. Sunday. Yeah, Sunday. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday which was our uh, on the, on Super Bowl. Yeah, of course, that was Super Bowl Sunday. Everyone who showed up for our stream celebrating our ten God, our ten goodness. year anniversary, our ten tenth year streaming and recording podcasts uh, on Twitch, and uh, we had we had a lovely day of of co op and. Actually, I don't know Couch how much of that was co-op. Yeah, a lot of that was just straight up competitive, competitive multiplayer. Uh, but it was fantastic. I had a, I had a really really good time. So it was uh, delightful. Yeah, it was delightful. What was the what was the fucking game that had us laughing? There's gang beast. Gang, gang beast. Gang beast was one. one. That was a game Nick has never so played good. before. Fuck all of you. Until yeah. we found video evidence of sure. it. Sure. <laughs> video, there's video. It must not have left a very good impression on it because I didn't remember oh, playing it. Oh, shit. Don't, don't do that. <sighs> don't turn your poor memory into a criticism of the game. <laughs> well, I'm sorry. It's, I'm going to get defensive. Sorry. I'd have no memory of playing that game. Did y'all ever eventually fight on the trucks? Uh, no. no, he actually didn't. Oh, that's the best level. Uh, I didn't. That's unfortunate. But well, we, we, had, play it again we had tons of fun playing things like Gang Beasts. Jackbox, Nidhog, Nidhog, Nidhog Two, Nidhog mm-hmm. Two. Uh, you know, it was good, good fun. So thanks everybody who came out and, and celebrated with us for that. Uh, Butters. <laughs> Whew, okay, calm yourself, dog. We're gonna have trouble tonight, guys. We're I, distracted I, I, by a dog. I'm not having any trouble. I well, you're not trying to host this thing. I'm trying to. I'm not either. I'll host it. Let's do it. I Video play, games. Oh, doggo, what have people been playing? Over to me. Hi, um, I've played Subnautica. Wait, 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 wait. We haven't done feedback. <laughs> then hurry up. Feedback. Nolan? All right, we actually have some feedback. Uh, remind everybody, we do a drawing every month. We're giving away free games every single month. Uh, to enter the drawing, all you got to do is uh, either retweet our show when we when we post it every week, or you can leave us a comment. Or feedback from the episode prior, and we'll read it at the, at the top of every episode. So uh, last week we talked about Dragon Ball Fighters and Subnautica and Monster Hunter World and Celeste. There's a ton of shit to talk about last week. So there is some feedback. <laughs> Chris Davis, you can click over to it. Yes, I can. Please. I'm going to start is- with... Huh? What? I would say it is adorable that I took away his bone, so now he's just licking the inside of his cone yeah. where the bone remnants are. <laughs> oh, I love dogs. Anyways, Chai Tai, uh, he says, last week you discussed memorable locations in games, and Carlos brought up memorable oh, multiplayer maps. It. I'm highly disappointed that no factions maps were listed. Oh no. Um. Uh, yeah. That's you know what? It's tough when you're sitting there and all of a sudden someone asks a question and you have to immediately come up with answers. Yeah, um, I don't want to go to any of those places. Yeah, yeah. No, They're all hell holes. But the, 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 where the, people stab each other with two by fours with big nails driven through. Them. The question was distinctly, yeah. which one of these places would you actually want to live or spend time in? And yeah. I don't think any any multi any any place where we're having a death match. I don't think is going to end up on yeah. that list. They're all pretty decrepit. Yeah. The oh, the dog down. is now licking the side of the couch. Yeah, that's that's fantastic. Bill's Town's a pretty great map, though. Bill's Town ah. is a good map. University is a good map. Dude, Fuck. fucking the dam. Downtown sucks. Oh, uh, downtown is the downtown's worst. Downtown's the worst. I mean, we can just though. we could just downtown's take this opportunity to talk about our favorite multiplayer maps. Wharf, Overgrown, the Wharf, Carrington. Wait, what is, what's Overgrown? He's making things up. Call of Duty Four. Oh, uh, oh, he's so making things he's up. He's lying. <laughs> Crash. <laughs> the movie. Yeah. Nuketown. Nuketown 2049. No, fuck, fuck Nuketown. Nuketown. That is the next to Shipment. That is the biggest piece of shit map Dude, that's ever I been a Call of Duty game. Totally agree. Shipment is a huge piece of turd. It is <laughs> fucking atrocious. And when you have to play fucking eighteen people in it, oh, oh my I fucking know, god, right? you're literally right, spawning uh, and right. dying in half a second. Let's get back to feedback. Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. 
Uh, how could you forget the flamethrowers and checkpoint, the insane matches on Lakeside, the bar in Billstown, University, and the Chris Davis spot? Yeah. Oh, Chris the Chris Davis fucking spot. Davis spot. God damn it. What is the Chris Davis spot? He just it's fucking camped. He got in a little corner and he just sat there. And anytime someone would get close, he you shoot them. Rat thing. No. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no. Oh, oh. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. <laughs> My son! <laughs> He's found re- his Butters re-born, found his reborn in chat. Oh my god. I saved him. Nothing happened. Re- no, sir. Uh-uh. No. Oh my god. No, the- no Butters, you murderer. <laughs> oh man. I'm so sorry. Butters, go lay down. Oh, sorry. Sorry, sorry. This isn't me. He's okay. Hentar is okay. <laughs> For now. Uh, so you're saying Chris Davis' spot was a camping spot? Yes. Okay. There was a spot. I didn't know the yeah. map, so I'd never played factions before. And there, I was it just was very... trying to figure out the fucking map. And it was just happened to be in the center of a room. And, and in just... the corner of a map. I was looking in the exact rob- wrong direction of where all the action was the entire fucking match. And it became the Chris Davis spot for some fucking reason. Yeah. Well, I know, I know why. Anyways, uh... Because he wanted to stay alive and not die. I like Ugh. living. <laughs> Hoss3000 says, just curious, does anyone know the... I don't know if we're going to have any... I think this was for other people reading this question. But uh, just curious, does anyone know the episode number where Crispy made his debut? Yeah, it was episode 146. Oh. It was not. It was not. <laughs> but I do remember Son of that... A bitch. Uh, we were sitting around a table in Brad's living room. David was there, and uh, Xenoblade Chronicles, the first Xenoblade Chronicles for the Wii, was like brand spanking new. It was like the week that that came out, or maybe like within two weeks of that coming out. Um, oh, that will narrow it down quite easily then. David was talking about uh, a costume for the main character that he was wearing that was like something oil or something like that and, and like basically it just made him look like he was wearing his underwear like swimming like trunks or something Hakan or something um, and we called it the like something oil show I think what kill for Crispy's memory <laughs> no my memory is terrible it's just... I remember when I what did you have for lunch yesterday Crispy go dude I don't know okay cool then it's not just me <laughs> wait what did I have for lunch what That's... was yesterday Wednesday Yes. So, Burger King. Nice. Wait, what? Yeah. Sorry. One of those chicken rodeos. Sandwiches. I'm not going to go. Okay, I didn't know people actually still ate Burger King. <sighs> Dude, what? I had like half an hour between one class and the next, and there was one down the road. Nick, there are dozens of people that eat a Burger King. Dozens of us. Dozen. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, that's okay. I eat at Wendy's, so that's just you fuck know. you. Fuck you. Moving on, uh, he says. Hoss three thousand finishes by saying, um, "I remember the that Mike and Screwdriver show, but if anyone remembers the episode number, I would love to listen to it again. <laughs> Great job!" I barely remember that episode. Uh, Piolst <laughs> says, "There's something about Lovecraftian horror which is always interesting to me. It usually feels alien and strange rather than out just outright scary. It's like a fear of things that are beyond comprehension. Looking at Stygian, which is the game Carlos brought to the table yep. last week." Uh, the gameplay might be different, but visually it gives me uh, it gives me sunless sea vibes, and I like the character portraits. I mean, I think I agree. I think yeah, I've, a lot of what he, y'all talked about last week in, in regards to Stygian sounded really interesting. I think as someone who hadn't played it, the visual style was what was kind of hooking me though, because mm-hmm. it was capturing that Lovecraftian horror, that Call of Cthulhu type uh, visual style, which I think was pretty cool. Uh, but I'm sure we'll probably talk about that again in the future when that when the full game eventually comes out. We will. Lovecraftian horror is great. Weird horror as a genre. Don't is forget. Great. Don't forget. There's. I'm that... not even like a horror guy, and I really like that stuff because it's more like lore and just like weird. Like I don't know. Yeah. There's there's more there's more architecture there than just like <laughs> monster eats people or murder or stabs people. Yeah, for sure. Even though Lovecraftian horror has its roots in some pretty. <laughs> kind of bullshit ideologies but you know whatever whatever um have they don't forget a... there's a new call of cthulhu game coming out pretty soon i was gonna say mm-hmm. do they do we know when the release date is for uh that? it's not an official release date but it's coming out early next year I th- or sorry <laughs> this year i believe um and uh maybe maybe yeah we'll see i think I, we got a that's... release date for plague of rats tale or whatever no no, no we got we'll talk we got a release date for the other don't nod 
Yeah. Or not don't not don't nod. No, the focus, don't nod. The game. other focus home entertainment game. Yeah. We'll talk about that in the news. I have an overlay for it. We're gonna talk about it. Uh the last bit of feedback comes from Blake G. Blake G says, uh, thank you for your suggestions last week on starting up a podcast. Uh definitely doing he's definitely doing this. Uh, just to get ideas out of my head so they don't rot away in my brain. Don't expect to be able to make money off of it or anything. Uh, it'll hopefully be a way for my friend. Uh, it'll hopefully be a, a way my friend and I can get some creative juices flowing on other endeavors uh, we, that we want to work on. Love the cast. Keep that shit coming. I think that's a that's a good way to do it. It's just you know essentially sit down and talk with your friends about something. Just you yeah. know you just happen to be recording it, but and and that's something that I I found that like. You know, and it's not, actually it's something that comes into play a lot with my work um, is sometimes I'll be stuck on something. Yeah. And I'll ask one of my teammates, hey, come over and let me just explain this to you. Yeah. You're probably not going to answer it for me. I'll probably answer it myself as I'm explaining it to you. Yeah. And that's usually how it ends up working. It's like, hey, I'll be like, Naraj, come over here. And I'll be like, I'm doing this and this, I don't understand this. And this is, and here's the answer. Okay, leave Naraj. And like, <laughs> get out of here, Naraj. Shut up. Just shut up. <laughs> God damn it, Naraj. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, that's definitely the way we started. I mean, like, like I said, I just went over. David literally, I was working at GameStop with David one day and he was like, he t- pulled out his, uh, <laughs> I think it was his Zune. He probably had. He had several Zunes, at least five. He, yeah, he did. And he just like put it on the counter and was like, he was like, well, first he asked me how I would feel about doing a podcast. I was like, I don't know. It sounds cool. So he, he then pulled, he did one of those things where like you say yes or maybe, and then he pulls out a recorder, puts it on the counter, and he's like, all right, let's talk. And just started recording it. And I was like, uh, and then we just started talking while we were also working. And that turned into, I don't think we ever released that, but that was just kind of. Yeah the very beginning of, of how the whole thing kind of snowballed. And we, like we did like a year's worth of podcast, just sitting around talking about stuff, recording it with nobody listening to it. So yeah, don't do it for the money. Don't do it for the attention. Just do it. And then hopefully eventually you'll find an audience, even if it's small, who cares? Um, but yeah, again, thank you guys so much for your feedback. If there's anything uh, that you want to chime in on after our conversations this evening, uh, please leave us a comment at fourplayernetwork.com on the post for this episode. And we will read it at the top of next week's podcast. Uh, but without further ado, let's jump into video games. Yeah, video games. How you doing, buddy? <laughs> I'm doing good, thanks. Uh, video games. So we're going to talk about Shadow of the Colossus here. I don't know. I guess that is the newest thing, huh? Technically, it's the oldest thing we're going to talk yeah, about. Technically, it's yeah. the oldest thing, also the newest thing. But everything else we've already talked about at least once before. Correct. So I'm going to talk about Shadow of the Colossus. Sure. The remake. Okay. Okay, but don't say anything spoilery. All right, don't look at the screen, because we're, we're going to be rolling footage. And I'm going to censor you if you say anything that sounds even remotely spoilery, okay? Good luck. Oh, God. I didn't know there go. was going to be this kind of pressure. Here we on go. Me. And also, I kind of want to try to have this conversation. Here and obviously, we go. <laughs> we had a big discussion off the podcast yep. a couple weeks ago regarding the necessity of this remake. I'm going to try to avoid that. I, it probably would have been unavoidable if Carlos or Brad were here. Uh, but I kind of want to just talk about the game in terms of what it actually is. Because this is a straight-up remake from the ground up. Yep. Are we doing good so far, Crispy? Yeah, so far so good. Animation-wise, mm-hmm. exactly the same. They have basically layered on top. They've, re- they've redone every single texture, like every... Uh, Everything the ground up, but it's kind of it's like a new skin on everything. But everything still moves and on feels. on Colossus number fourteen. Did they, I'm only on seven. Ah, 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 ah. Did they redo the the textures on its grundle? <laughs> no, <laughs> right. no numbers into reference of how many colossi there are. Is there, are. there one of them you had to climb the balls or something? There is. Okay, first ah, of all, ah, 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 ah. we're not going to talk about grundles this evening. I'm put we we hit our grundle quota on Sunday's stream. <laughs> gonna gonna stop you right there. Uh, Nolan. Okay. First of all, I feel like it, it, I think it's kind of strange that we're sitting on a couch with four people and only two of us have actually played the original Shadow of the Colossus. I feel like that's kind of slightly weird, slightly strange, kind of weird. Um, it also kind of makes it difficult to talk about, especially without spoiling anything. Right. So right. I mean, I kind of played it, but I was There's very intoxicated. Too. Wait, what, Chris? Yeah. Uh, just I, I turned to look at you, and the footage is playing behind your it's head. It's everywhere. It's ever. I can't get away from it. Uh, I mean, first oh, of all, fuck. There's a horse in the game. God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> first of all, crispy, you have, you've got to have seen footage of this game before, Nick. Not don't just I'm tell not, me what I have to do. Not just the remake. I'm just talking about like the, like the original. You've it's not like you've never seen this game. Yeah, right? no, I am aware of its existence. So I feel like you just watch the footage. It's not a big deal. I don't. 
fuck you. <laughs> Keep going. All right. I'm sorry. Um, so right out of the gate, mm-hmm. I think this is a drop dead fucking gorgeous remake. There, How, there's, is it the same audio, like music wise? As far as I can tell, yeah. Although okay. to be honest, it's been a while since I played the original, so I would mm-hmm. I would probably have to play them side by side. But I'm pretty sure they've used the same audio, like music wise, and 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 mm-hmm. you know the little the very little speaking there actually is. I mm-hmm. feel like that's all the same. It yeah. might be slightly different, or they may have run it through some filters or something. I don't know. Um, but er, pretty much everything that's been upgraded in this game has been mostly visual. Yeah. Uh, there's actually a few. So one thing I, I that I never did when playing the original Shadow of the Colossus was I never really did any of the collectible stuff. Or okay. the, so you can collect the lizard tails. Uh, yeah. Whatnot. Whatnot. Uh, First of all, one thing you should probably you? know about this game, and if you don't already, I'd be shocked, but. Shadow of the Colossus is from the be- from the ground up, from the beginning it starts to the beginning it ends, is a boss rush. Yes. There is almost... Well, there's not really a rush. Yeah, there's no rush. It's Sorry, yeah. it's like a boss... Uh, take your time. Yeah. yeah, take your time with these bosses. Enjoy the world. It's not like Titan a bo- Souls. A boss right? stroll. Yeah. It's like, yeah, it's like a str- yeah, it's a boss stroll. There we go. Uh, there's not a whole lot to do, like I said, outside of... You hunt down some... You, if you see a lizard, you can kill it, and you can get a tail, and that boosts your stamina? Yes. Yes. I think. Yes. Um, which allows you to hold on to things longer without having to let go and let your stamina meter build back up. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. And there's the the fruit. And the fruit. Health. They've added one new collectible in this game. Mm-hmm. And I don't know what... Nobody knows what it does yet. The, they're gold coins. There's gold Crispy. coins. Let me yeah. tell you something about the fruit and the lizards. You've already told me too much. They probably are. won't find them unless you really fucking go looking. Let for me tell you this. Really? Yes. Okay. Maybe that's maybe that's changed slightly, Nolan. Really? I went down. Is, a, I went down a like a like a. Uh, there's a couple. There's like a lizard they drop in front of you in an. In a, in no, no, no. I went down. I went down. I went down. Yeah. I went down a hallway. Not a hallway. Like mm-hmm. in between some cliffs, right? Mm-hmm. I, I found no less than like four lizards between the moment I started and. and the thing is, the end. lizards are hard to catch, though. <laughs> yeah. So. That was one thing I was actually going to ask is that, you. Is that one of those things where, like, every time you find a fruit or a lizard tail and you consume it, it's a permanent increase? Correct. Yeah. So so it's like a, a little bit of an upgrade system? Yeah, but but the thing is, like, when I played the game, I don't think I did any of that. Mm-hmm. So I think I like I got through the entire original game for the most part with a mostly default, default uh, stamina, which is crazy. Especially when you think about uh, Mike, if I remember correctly. But the time he finished the game, his health bar or stamina meter like reached all the way across. The well, I don't, I don't know if they could do that the first time you finished. The thing is, when you yeah. there's like new game plus essentially, all that it, like carries over. Yeah. Um. So uh, when you you beat the game once, you get a bunch of stamina, you get a bunch of health. You yeah. Beat it again, you get more. You beat it again, you get more. There is and a dis- so there is a distinction in this game, and I'm not sure if it's this is the same it was as it was in the original, but mm-hmm. there are different kinds of tails, like silver tails, gold tails. And- that was not me. So I think one. what they've done, and I think they've added mostly new, or just a, they've added a bunch of lizards. Mm-hmm. But I think the only ones that actually boost your stamina are when they're like a special color tail. Oh no, so that's always there. Mm-hmm. No, there's all there was all they were like a lightish blue silvery color tail. The other ones, yeah, if you like killed them, nothing happened. Yeah. Okay, so I've been just killing a bunch of useless lizards. Probably. <laughs> this seems like what's been happening. Yes. Um, but hey, I found a tr- I found a tree that was like had fruit all over it, and I like. There, there's my one big tree in the game that yeah, it does have a lot of fruit I think on it's it. The one yeah. I found last night, probably. Maybe. But you can usually find the upgrade lizards at shrines that are in the world. Yeah, yeah, probably so. There's, Which are basically safe kind of everywhere. Points. But like for the most part, though, Crispy, like this game is it's a, it's kind of it's a rather large like open space, but there is absolutely nothing to do yeah. between bosses. Besides murder. Besides yes. murder lizards. Besides murder. And, and take their tails. And, um, and murder endangered creatures. Yes. Giant. But, um, yeah, you, you, can, you can shoot, like, hawks and stuff, I think. That's true, too. Um, Doesn't get with, you anything. Your, yeah, it just makes you an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but you can kill them. Yes. Oh, wow. You can kill anything that moves in this game. Oh, that's true. Except your Even though there's no reason. Why would you kill aggro? You said anything in the game. That's true. You did say that. Why would you kill aggro? Um, some would argue that he's a pain in the dick. But, that's beyond the point. Um, Wait, what? 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 I will kill you. It's I, very rare that there's all, a good horse in the video. Here, one thing I, I am under the impression, like, so I've, so I've played, I'm, I'm on the seventh one, I think, right now. Um, a couple things. One, having played the game already, you might not be able to tell from this footage, because I fucked up a few times <laughs> this footage, which actually is fine, because I didn't want to spoil too much of the game footage. Um, but I forgot that if you, if you play this game even once, and you kind of know how it works, yeah. it goes fast. Oh, no, totally. 
I played I played for an hour the first night I got it, mm -hmm. and I I burned through three colossi, and that was that was with about 15, 20 minutes I spent dicking around in photo mode. Yeah. Um, so, <laughs> but but the thing is, when I say you, when you know how it works, it's not really just knowing how mechanically it works. It's it's how like all the colossi kind of have a trick. Oh, they all got they all got they've got a thing you got to figure out. Yeah, they all got yeah, they, sticks. They've all got their stick gimmicks. And they're not gimmicks. <laughs> <laughs> They're not gimmicks because well, where are they you, you, they are. you have to watch their movements and pick up on their respawn. Like it's not just telegraphed for you. You kind of have to look for your opening and take it. Yeah. Uh, but if you've played the game even once and you and you kind of like even though I haven't played this game in probably five or six years, I saw I came across I you know I fought one last night that I this is like the first three I, re I remember pretty vividly. Everything after that is kind of fuzzy. And I got to the fourth one and I was like, all right, this is where it kind of starts to feel fresh again. Mm -hmm. But the moment I saw him, I was like. Nope, he came back to me. I know what to do. Yeah. Boom, he's done. He was done. Like, so hold on, quick question. Huh. Why did they change the color of the stamina bar? What was it last? Oh, it was pink. Last it was time. pink. Uh, that's a good question. I, don't I thought that know. was it a delightful like pretty, color. It seems like a random change, right? And now it just looks like a puddle of piss. Well, now I'm gonna <laughs> be thinking about that. <laughs> well, I mean, it could be a question of like the upgrade system. Maybe it changes colors yeah. as you upgrade. I guarantee more, you it does not. Maybe to distinguish it more from the health, which is red. Yeah? The health used to be blue. Well, they changed that too. It's red now. Well, maybe it's a colorblind thing. Maybe. Or what maybe does it matter? They're, it's not like they're two bars. One's a circle, one's a bar. Maybe they just wanted to make it feel like they wanted to leave their own mark on the game. Because <laughs> for the most part, this, is, it, this game from the ground up is almost the exact same experience mechanically speaking. Yeah. Gameplay wise. <laughs> So maybe they were just looking for something to change. I don't know. Also, hey, what does the it fucking the matter? Gold, the thing about the gold coins, mm -hmm. people are still trying to figure out what that's all about. Mm, they don't know. And last, uh, I saw something the other day saying like someone's found up to seventy nine of them. What happened? Ooh. So I when don't know you find like, eighty, it's like lols. You bought this remake. No, no. Maybe like there's a hundred of them, and once you collect them all, it unlocks an Ico remake. Ground up. No, no like, I think I think some cool. people I think uh, I've heard a lot of people or talk Eco. about maybe. a lot of people would love to play a Shadow of the Colossus remake. I'm not certain a whole lot of people want to play an, an Eco remake. I think people will take what they're given. Um, wow, you know what though? I I'm kind of hoping and this is probably not this is probably not at all the case, but I, I think it'd be cool if they like if if you find them all, you can unlock like a hidden like a new Colossus. Mm -hmm. um, but then again, that brings up the question like Team Eco. Mm -hmm. Have a very distinct style, obviously, and a very like they created these things. This team Blue, at Blue Point remade this game, but they are not at all in related to the studio that actually made Correct. the original game. So to think that they would try and not saying they couldn't, but like see them try and like duplicate their style, I think would be really challenging. So maybe mm -hmm. I'm not really expecting there to be like a, a new Colossus or anything. It's um, probably like an art gallery or something. I mean, there, well, there's already an art gallery by default. Every time you really? beat a Colossus, you unlock new concept art okay. and. Uh, because this game doesn't have like a swap mode, you can't swap back and forth. It's not like the Halo Anniversary where you can swap between the old graphics and the new. Uh, they have a concept art gallery and then they have a comparison art gallery where they'll show screenshots from certain points in the game side so, by side. So the, you haven't beaten the game yet, right? No. So, But I fully intend to. You don't know... Uh, in the original game, I, I'm assuming they carried this over. There, During like New Game Plus, <laughs> you could do all these special things where you... Um, I don't know if it was like like speed run, like if you did. I can't remember how it worked. But if you killed a certain colossus in a certain amount of time, or did something, or did this, or whatever, you could unlock like special things. Like one of them was like a better sword, and one yeah. that made you like that was more powerful. And, and that's like, still in this game. I'm pretty okay. Sure. One of them was a cloak that made you invisible. Actually, to the I know it is because uh, I can't remember if it was in the if in the trophy list or I don't think it was a trophy list. I think no. You can go into the stats. I mm -hmm. think. And it will show you all these things that you can potentially unlock, and some of them were like special swords. Okay, crispy. One of them was a cape that made you invisible to Colossus. The problem is, it also made you invisible to yourself. Oh, uh, you were just a, you were just a fucking sh that's like, a real item in the yes, game. Yes, you all all you saw was your shadow on the ground. You're, you're a cloak of like your yes. cloak of invisibility. Yes, that's interesting. That's and it made the game really cool. fucking difficult. I bet that's it did. That's so cool <laughs> because you couldn't fucking see yourself. Ah! Uh, is my mic uh, still good? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Just checking. Um, what were those? What was oh yeah. Shadow Colossus. That's pretty dope. Yeah. <laughs> Have you climbed the tower yet? No. With stamina like that, you'll never make I it. I know. But I. I so I've played the, the original like two or three times. Mm -hmm. um, 
But I feel like this one I might actually like, especially at the rate I'm moving through it, because mm -hmm. I I have no doubt that I can finish this game on this weekend at the, at the, at the latest. Um, I might come back to this a few times throughout the year and maybe try and get some of the stuff that I never took the time to try do. Try to get to the top of the town. You are. You have, you doubting me already, Crispy? It's 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 February, and you're already uh, doubting me. Weren't you the one who said Shut that up. you had a stack of five games on your table? Yeah, this that you're is one of right them. I'm gonna knock it out this weekend. I'm not saying I'm gonna 100. percent it. I'm saying there's there's some things that I didn't take advantage of the first time that I, I wouldn't mind doing. I think I think this game is like I'm playing it on you know I'm playing it at you know 1080p, 30 frames a second with HDR on and everything. It's mm -hmm. it's fucking phenomenal. And as far as like. Uh, as far as remakes go, I mm -hmm. haven't felt this way about playing a, like a remake since uh, Resident Evil Remake. Like in terms, of, like remember how how magical playing that game was after they re they redid it visually. I know that was more than just a visual overhaul, uh, but oh my god, I saw I glitched out quite a few times in this. <laughs> it happens. Um, but yeah, if you remember like playing that game for the first time after remember, if, compared to like the original Resident Evil, like that, it's it's not quite as big a jump. Here, because obviously it hasn't been that as long, mm -hmm. um, but it's still this game is fucking amazing looking. So this is the second Colossus, correct? Yeah, it's the second. Which <clears throat> it was the second Colossus. There, there. Yeah, I know. I still feel <clears throat> terrible when, I, when this shit happens. Uh, but yeah, I this game I think is uh, I think it's Dude, great. I, I one I, thing I will say, Crispy. You will probably after you play this listen to the soundtrack many a time. It is a great soundtrack. soundtrack Every, so see, that's, that's what makes me say okay. that everything is kind of still in, uh, still original as far as the audio goes. Oh, my I, yeah. oh, what is happening, Crispy? Ooh, you should play the game and find out. You should play the game and find out. Um, and also, yeah, some people in chat are, are mentioning the frame rate. The frame rate is so. There's two actual modes in the game. You can play in performance mode. You can play on which is 1080p, 30 frames a second, or you can play on cinematic mode which is 1080p 60 but you, the frame rate takes a bit of a hit okay. uh, so i've been playing in performance mode i still think it is absolutely gorgeous cool um so yeah i, I think this is uh if you first of all if you've never played it i think this is definitely the version to play uh, I, I there's obviously the debate that we it's kinda... definitely the definitely i will say the most accessible version yeah they've changed they've swapped around some of the controls too um like x is jump now instead of triangle um, yeah, that was always kind of weird. They've kind of uh, they've, they've moved some stuff around. Well, no, crispy. It made it was up on the thing. You, if you want to go up, you press no. I up. get that. That's yeah. still terrible. <laughs> Correct. It's fucking. It's horrible. teeny. It was though. terrible. Yeah, there were like <laughs> three or four. There are now four different control schemes. I think. Yeah, there are four different control schemes. Really? Wasn't it like that on the the last card? This default. Uh, I can't, honestly can't remember. But uh, yeah, they. There's like four different control schemes. It defaults to modern, which is the the new control scheme, and I think it's great. I think I think as far as Im the improvements they made to this game, I think from the ground up are they're all I would consider them all improvements. Um, I, like I said, I don't want to get too much into the debate that we kind of had on the feed about the necessity of it or, or or whether this like loses any artistic value by like fucking with the original team's vision. I I personally will just say after playing two or three hours of it i don't think it at all loses its artistic merit i think this game is still a masterpiece still a goddamn masterpiece. also the photo mode in this game is so good yeah. like i would have like oh my god photo modes are, are like still kind of new new to me like i've been kind of fucking around with them with some, some more recent games and this is like using the photo mode in a game like this is a goddamn dream because there's there's it's so easy to take beautiful like shots and they have so many like cool filters and you can fuck with the your death perception and all that. I can't stuff even photos. recall how many times I've heard the main character in this game say aggro. Are you saying it's a lot? Yeah. Well, because you can call your horse whenever you want. Yeah. But I would just do it over and over and over. And he'll he'll sometimes he'll whistle. If he's too if aggro's too far away, he'll whistle at him. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but you know, it's uh, I I look forward to hearing what Crispy and Chris Davis have to say about it after they play it because I think I would love to like. <clears throat> like I said, I, I'm remembering more about it than I thought I remembered. Mm -hmm. So it is kind of more nostalgic now than it is a fresh experience. Sure. So I would love to maybe kind of relive the fresh experience through the eyes of someone who's never played it. So Crispy, Chris Get Davis, away from my eyes. You should play this game. Get away very from my soon. damn eyes. Those are my I, eye holes. I will say there there might be times when you're playing it where if you're fighting a Colossus and you you might die. Because, like, like I said, I played for, like, an hour. I got through three. Like, 
on your first time through. Oh no, that's not that's gonna not going to happen. happen. And yeah. I I hope it. I don't want y'all to get frustrated. I think that's kind of the 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 intention is to like spend Wait, time. So neither with... of y'all have played it. Again, I've kind of played. I think it. you, you I played it on the very... feed one. You played it on the feed once, and you were drinking. Is that what happened? Or we, did you just... No, play? I was I was with friends like a, about a year or two after it came out. Oh. Originally on the PS2. And we just got very fucking wasted and started Sounds playing the like game. Sounds like a good project for Chris versus Chris. We we got uh, Shadow of the Coloss- Chris Colossus. Chris Lossus? We, we got Chris stuck well. on the bird. See, that's... Mm, that's all mm. I remember. I'm not... Okay. Shadow of the Chris Lossus. There is... Oh my god. These Colossi are so fucking cool, man. Yeah. Like I I think playing it again and like seeing all these Colossi recreated is is fucking magical. And I can't wait to hear what y'all think about the game. Just, just play it. We'll talk about it more after y'all have played it. Dude. Okay. Do it. Just calm down. Leave now. Just Go play. Don't it. put that kind of pressure on somebody. Sorry. I didn't Look, mean- hey, you know what? I'm gonna respond to Brad because he said something kind of snarky in chat. Yes, triangle or the top face button is also jump in Breath of the Wild. And you know what? That's the worst part of those controls. And it also kind of makes sense in that game because you're doing a lot of other stuff with the other buttons. What are you doing in this game besides running around, swinging a sword, and climbing? Other stuff. And jumping. Holding? I I mean, sure. But, like... There's so many things going on in the controller that the only place left for Breath of the Wild this is is not. Triangle? Like, come on. Breath of the Wild, this is not. If it was that easy for them to just flip it, then it was probably not where it needed to be to begin with. Okay. Anyways. The remake's great. Yeah, the idea is triangle is up. Oh my god, I didn't understand that. Don't, don't, don't engage. Let's talk about our next game. The idea is to make it more intuitive. Which, if Brad had come in five minutes earlier, he would have known we already mentioned that. Anyways, let's move on. There's other games to talk about. Uh, Like Subnautica. What? I've been playing more of that. I know no one's probably now. Yeah, I'm close to 20 hours, I guess, now. Um, this game is delightful. And I never... It's it's one of those things where it's like the map, I know, is not, like, huge. Like, it's it's probably not as big as, like, Grand Theft Auto Five. Oh, I certainly hope. You think it's even remotely that big? No, I'm saying it's not that big. But even though Supposedly I... Supposedly it's, like, two square kilometers? Yeah, but, no, it's, what two, is... it's two square kilometers. It's, like, one of those things where it's, like, I'll go to one side of it, and I know I'm kind of on, like, the edge or whatever. But even though, there's so much fucking verticality. Yeah, because you can go... But if when you can go to up to 900... No, way more than that. Meters? More than way 900 meters? Way more than that. I think... I think Fuck! More than 2,000, I think. <laughs> See, that's ridiculous. <laughs> not everywhere, that... obviously. But anyway... Yeah, yeah. Um, so the more the more I explore, it's like holy shit. There's just it, it's everywhere. I'm constantly finding something new. I will say on my last cast, um, I did finally get to the point where I started building my habitat. Yeah, and I, I got something other than the uh, whatever the th- the lockers. No, the yeah. the thing the sea glide C-moth? thing. Oh, the sea. I got the sea moth. You got the sea moth. Nice. I got sea moth, which is you know, so the, cool. There's upgrades for the sea moth. God. Damn! There's upgrades that let it go deeper. There's upgrades that make it have like an electrical pulse. So if something's attacking you, you can like send off a pulse of electricity. There's upgrades that you can put storage on it. Uh, there's upgrades, Nick, that you can put torpedoes on it. Fuck, man. Fucking torpedoes. I fuck. If you're gonna have torpedoes in your game, you probably are gonna need it for something big or something small. Hey, so did you? <laughs> did you? Uh. Like we mentioned, that there is some story in this game. Yes. Obviously, did you go when you had, did you get the the countdown timer? Mm-hmm. Did you go to the island? Mm-hmm. Did you see the shit? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, I definitely did. Because apparently, so I was talking to people in chat. Some people in chat didn't go. Wait, there why not? You don't have it. to. Yeah. Like man, I can't imagine being having missed that though. Like it's yeah. pretty. It's intense. Yeah. This, but, man, base building in this game. Whoo! I've never it, I've never played a game like this before. So like. Building a habitat underwater is so goddamn addicting. And it's something I will say, and I kind of brought it up a little bit last week, and I think I brought it up when you were, I was watching you stream one time, but definitely as soon as you have the ability to build a base, do it. I waited, and I was like, I wanted to find an optimal base. The thing is, it's actually really easy to build a small base. It does not acquire much material at all. There's also things like, I was I, I was going out away from my habitat, sure. and I went out like, you know, couple hundred meters or whatever and then i started diving down and mm-hmm. it was really deep and i my i haven't i can only breathe underwater for like 
or uh, I only have like I don't know a minute of air or something. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, but I had I kept having to kind of surface, and it sure. was deep, and I was like, "This is fucking annoying," and I didn't even think about it. Someone in chat was like, "Why don't you, why don't you build like, a, like a pod down there?" Yeah, it, you're not so deep that the the uh, sun the sun can't reach the uh, yeah. It might it might not be as efficient on your solar panels, but it can still create some. Yeah, and energy. I was like, I was like, that's fucking brilliant. Yeah. I didn't think about that, and I mean, I, that's you can literally just have habitats kind of sprinkle totally. all over the map if you yeah. wanted. And that's that's fucking cool. And you can get energy from a lot more than just uh, solar panels. There's thermal. Uh, so if you find a I found a thermal vent. If you find a vent, you can set up these uh, devices near it that collect the heat, mm-hmm. and you uh, create these these little spikes that will transfer the energy. Uh, so there are certain areas that are deep underwater, but there might be a thermal like vent down there. Just build a little habitat, put up your little uh, thing to collect the energy. You're set to go. You can. How deep have you gone at this point? The deepest I have gone is probably 700 meters. God damn. That's yeah. pretty I don't think deep. I've cracked 200 meters yet. Yeah, it takes a while before you do. Here's here's my uh, my little mech that I got. What? Man, I don't want to see this stuff either. <laughs> um, the reason I'm in it right now is because I found a... a um, uh, we should get like a face mask that people can or, wear when uh, they don't want to watch footage. What is that stuff like a called? a sleeping mask? Uh, quartz. I found a quartz um, uh, stash... Uh, so I'm gonna mine it uh, with the drill arms on my mech, and the cool thing about that is, is it immediately puts it into my mech storage. So all I gotta do is walk up and drill the shit out of it, and just puts it in there. Um, this guy is really lucky; he has technology that can just build things, when right? You push buttons on a right? computer. Um, but yeah, so uh, the reason I'm out here was because kind of story. Um, you know, you'll find like X, like older habitats that someone used to be in. Um, and there will be often audio logs left over, which yeah. there are so many fucking audio logs that actually tell pretty good, like, many stories for, like, oh, people lived here and kind of what was going on with them. Like, yeah. oh, like, oh, this guy, like, gave up on life and he decided to, like, run out and go do something else and left people behind. And you kind of find the remnants of that throughout the, the area and stuff. And that's actually how I found this this uh, base that was uh, 500 meters deep is where it was. Um, but Can there's... you even see that at that depth um not without some sort of i mean there's a little bit of light it's not much um so i mean but usually i have my flashlight or my sea moth or i mean but i can imagine you're eventually gonna get to points in this game where it's like pitch black oh definitely yeah, yeah. i've been to some areas that are pretty fucking dark yeah um but yeah so here i am in my um cyclops uh uh heading back to base um, I, I got some spoils. I don't know if you noticed in the in the ba- in like the the hull of my Cyclops. Um, I um, I have a fabricator and I have a bunch of lockers and like I can literally like leave my habitat and not go back for hours and hours yeah. and hours just because I can just you know sustain. At one point, I found some um, blood oil. Blood oil. Yeah, blood oil. Uh, a material you need to create like b- benzene or something. Um, it's, it's, uh, used in crafting. Um, and I found a bunch of it, but the problem is the blood oil is, it takes up four spaces, which is a huge amount of inventory, uh, slots. Um, so I, I essentially just farmed like a shit ton until like all of those lockers. I have like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, uh, like 11 lockers in my, uh, Cyclops. And I just had them all filled up. With, yeah, uh, with blood that was oil. one of the first things I did when I first built my habitat was just start building as many fucking lockers. I was yeah. tired of running out of space, yeah. and those lockers are so fu- like not only are they helpful, but like they're so much bigger than the ones that you get by default, especially yeah. in the escape pod. Mm-hmm. So that's that's so fucking cool. Especially it's it's cool that you can add them onto like uh, submarines and yeah, shit. Yeah, no, totally. Um, have you tried building your habitat above the water? No, you can. Uh, I personally haven't. Mine's like a little over 100 feet deep. Um, I haven't uh, tried building it above it yet. I know you can. Uh, you can build it straight up on land. You don't have to build it anywhere near water if you oh. don't want to. If you find some land, you can build it on. That's. I kind of want to. I kind of want to have one that has like multiple levels and like sure. part goes above the water. You can do it just however I you think want. That'd be cool as hell. Yeah. Um, you can just have a spire at the top with like a little maybe radio beacon on it, and you can just go into the top and go down. Can Might you have do like that? a coffee maker or something down there. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Espresso maker. Can you um, go into the ship, the the crash uh, ship? Yeah, you do. Really? Yes. Wait, really? S- stuff happens. Oh yeah. Story, finding things. Oh no, a lot happens in there. I thought it exploded. Uh, I, mean, I mean, it's on fire a lot of places in there. So maybe bring some fire extinguishers with you. 
But yeah, no, the, uh, on my stream a couple, like a week or two ago, I did a bunch of stuff in there. The one, th the one thing that kind of threw me off, though, was like, because when you, when you first start the game, you come out of your escape pod, and it's just like a horizon as far as you can see, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and then you you get that, that, t that countdown timer, you get the distress call, or, or the rescue call, right? Yeah. And, you, and then you swim out towards the the beacon mm -hmm. and you get about 400 meters away from your escape pod and all of a sudden there's this big giant fucking island yeah <laughs> and i was like oh, yeah. i didn't see that from my escape pod which seems kind of strange kind of jarring but uh you know what i'm willing to forgive little things like that it's a pretty small world so the curvature actually yeah. is much closer yeah. see that's what i was kind of telling myself uh, to try and justify it but, yeah. but then how's all that ocean floating there? right right we had this conversation last week. If it's a tiny week. planet. We had this conversation last yeah, week. We did, we did this. But core, it's worth thinking crispy, about. The core is so dense. That's why. It, it, it is denser than any... The most dense neutron star. I don't need your science. Mm, no. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, um, I, I have a fairly elaborate base. On the top of one of the struts of my base, uh, I have a garden uh, where I've been growing some... Uh, oh, which one is it? Uh, I forget which one it is. Uh, this type You've of growing food that you don't need. No, it's not food. Much. It's it's for creating um, aerogel, uh, which is something you'll encounter probably later that you need for some upgrades and stuff. Yeah. Um, and so I have this little farm on top of my uh, actually on top of my moon pool is where the farm is. Um, uh, I talked about it last week. I have a scanner room, uh, but this week I, I just got the scanner room myself. Like there is, this game has so many surprising attachments and, and just make sure and, nick you focus on getting the upgrade for the scanner room that lets you put the items on your hud yeah because that makes life so much easier i'm working on, I, I, that was like literally the last thing i did on my stream before i, I cut it so um this also is probably, get your aquarium ready probably the first thing i'm going back to once i finish shadow of the colossus for sure nice this, game uh, has this is one of this is you know one of those games where it's like i get i don't say frustrated but it's just like man like i know there's an end to it but it just doesn't seem like it you know there are saying? people have been in chat that have said they've already finished the game. Yeah, I, I know. I, I know people have definitely finished the game, but to me, when I look at this, I'm like, where? When? Like, there's just so much to do. And it's it's also one of those experiences too, where you can probably finish the story and then just. Keep oh, I'm going sure I could probably just blade, so. like just rush through it. But where's the fun in that? Like, yeah. I enjoy like you know exploring. Oh, what is this cave here? Oh shit! I think Skylander said she spent forty hours in it to finish it, which seems like a pretty okay. That, I, I'm I'm at almost at twenty. Yeah. So I'm, I'm maybe I'm at halfway, halfway point. Through. Yeah. More Depending on how how much ex more exploring I've done than her. Uh -huh. uh, but yeah, I think now that I have my Cyclops uh, and it's it's getting fairly upgraded. Um, and I, you know, I have some more upgrades for myself. Um, see here, you'll see all my lockers. Oh, there's all on the. Oh, I guess I. I have an entire hallway things. that I'm just lining with lockers. Yeah, which is um, great fun. But uh, actually, in this footage, I'm actually going back to my base to build an aquarium uh, because I wanted one. Um, Why'd you want one, Noah? Because uh, I heard that you can put like an egg in it and like hatch it into a creature. Uh, so I wanted to look into that. Um, I was wondering what all those damn eggs were. I know, right? The grasses. Uh, well, the, the thing is, there's a lot, and that's kind of, I guess, one of the unfortunate things, uh, is there's a lot of content in this game that I'm not really using uh, because I'm not I'm playing in the freedom mode, not the yeah. survival one. So there's lots of things I could be eating or drinking or whatever, but since I don't need Part to... Part of me wonders if I'm, like, cheating the experience yeah, a little yeah, bit. Yeah, you are. You guys should be playing survival. But I probably everybody, should. Like, no, I didn't have... It's not hard. That's like, what she said. Like, it's so not, like... Well, what you think it is. isn't it too late? Can you, you can't switch it mid. Yeah, problem. You already ruined it. I mean, everybody told me, like, not one person it's said okay. To, it's okay. It's okay. You'll just never have that true experience. Yeah, you'll never I hate know. you. <laughs> Your experience will be subpar. We're, we're moving on. This that is, was this subpar. Yeah, let's, let's <laughs> we're, we're moving on. This is dumb. Um, anyway, I definitely plan on playing more. Glad we caught the footage right before I got to my base. <clears throat> Good. I don't want to see your face. I, want to <laughs> I, I don't see want it. you to see it. I don't want to see it. It's secret. It's probably all trashy and ghetto. Yep. What else do we have to talk about tonight, game wise? I mean, uh, busted so uh, there's one game that I kind of wanted to talk about. I think uh, I made an overlay for it. If it's the one I'm thinking of, Super. No, that's not at all. Yeah, no, never mind. Uh, <laughs> I, I played a game called Super Tony Land. Super Tony Land? Yes, it's in alpha right now. Um, it is from the creators of Legend of Dungeon. Ooh. Uh, also the creators of the canceled... Uh, shit, what was that game called? 
something <sighs> fuck it's robot loves kitty yeah oh okay um the game they're working on it was canceled i forget what it's called now it was the one that was multiplayer and when you joined you could only play once oh yeah i know what you're talking about Uh, upsilon circuit that's what it's called upsilon circuit uh that i was just about to say that um and so they're working on super tony land and as a matter of fact their kickstarter went live one hour ago wait hour two hours ago for super tony land um so if someone could if like google that real quick you'll probably find the link to their kickstarter maybe someone post a link in chat yeah if y'all could post that um so i actually started playing that the other day like i said it is very early though it is kind of cave story meets Super Mario Maker. Um, yeah, it's interesting. Um, you you can uh, design levels and stuff like that, and there's a little bit of story. Um, and the, the reason I've only played as little as I have, though, is I think because it's so early. Um, the uh, I couldn't map the controls to my controller. Yeah. Uh, and it was kind of, I don't like playing that style of game with mouse and keyboard. Or uh, mainly just keyboard. I don't. I'm not a fan of it, um, and so I was having some trouble with it. Um, but uh, I, I'll probably give it another shot. Uh, I mean, the main reason I haven't played more is because of this little fucker right here. Uh, Butters. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, so yeah. I'll, I'll definitely try and play more of it though, um, and maybe give uh, an update next week. Beck just posted a link uh, to their Kickstarter. Uh, definitely go check it out. Uh, definitely a uh, a developer we like. A yeah, lot. for sure, for sure. Um, I also played more, a lot more Mass Effect Andromeda. I don't nice. know how much I else I want to say about it at this point. Um, other, Have you had sex yet? No, I think, and I was talking to Robin about this last night because apparently, I think I'm, <laughs> I've played, I've played all the Mass Effect games so, mm-hmm. far. yeah, yeah, and somehow I think I'm fucking this up. Yeah, you are. Um, sounds about right because I've done three. Of the, I've co- like completed three of the planets, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and including people are, reactivating the vaults. Yes, okay. Reac- I've like they have a hundred percent viability. Okay. They're called vaults, and yeah, I did the vaults um, and all that junk. Um, did you do the worms? Okay, pump the brakes for a second. So I don't know. Oh, the worms! People <gasps> oh, seem to on. think that I'm really. If you'd seen a. Uh, 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 you're killing me, Nolan. Yeah. Oh, Cloverfield uh, Paradox. Is that what it's called? Let's not yes. spoil anything Paradox. from that. Yeah. Uh, the Worms. Yeah, that was interesting. Oh my god, that movie's about worms. You ruined it. God, it was probably already Dude. bad. What I'm trying to say is, I've done three of the planets. People were like, "Oh, you don't have that much left." I was like, "What?" And I realized <laughs> I haven't gone back to the ship. I haven't talked to anybody. What? I haven't gone to the Nexus. I haven't talked to anybody there. I've just been going from planet to planet and doing shit. But I didn't know. I thought I, I thought that was just the way it was supposed to happen. I was like, like Nick, you, you know really need to go works? to the Nexus. Uh, uh, that game of shit. It's not shit. <laughs> it's, I'm really enjoying it. I've spent 24 hours with that game at this point. And like I'm enjoying it. Probably it's probably mostly just, I'm enjoying it way more than people would have led me to believe that I would. Oh my god! What? Clef says he put over 300 hours into that game and didn't find anything he liked about it. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong I with think, you? First that, of all, that, that's probably also multiplayer included. Also, I I think that's I. Th- <laughs> yeah, well, I would hope. <sighs> Maybe I don't want to talk about this. <laughs> I'm just saying. I, I, I'm just saying. No, no. I'm saying that's a lot of time to put into anything that you're not enjoying, right? Yes. Like, clearly. That's crazy. I think, that yeah. person is crazy. I think that is true. <laughs> that is that is that is a crazy statement to make. I've played 24 <laughs> hours and I found plenty to enjoy about it, even if it is. No offense, Cleft. I'm sorry. I love you. Even if it is noticeable, like it is without a without question, probably the worst game in the franchise. But like, it has some redeeming values or qualities and it is i am having fun in fact i still think the combat is great i love the combat i like some of the characters i love going to the different planets and seeing what the fuck's going on the new race they introduce is pretty cool like i'm liking all that stuff i'm just real like i realized that i i accidentally kind of like started mainlining the thing and i realized i haven't been spending much time romancing my lady Wait, who are you? Well, it doesn't take long to romance in this game. Oh, I, I mean, I'm gonna, I'm I, now that I've figured that out, 
I'm gonna spend some quality time on the Tempest and go back to the Nexus and do some side shit. Who, who's your lady? Uh, Vetra, I think is who I'm going. going okay, for. interesting. Uh, the like I said, I like I, I promised yeah. Robin I would only bang bang an alien, mm-hmm. and there's only two aliens you can bang. Just bang. one alien? Just one alien. Why not both? Because I've to- I've been told that's cheating at the. <laughs> what? They're aliens. Well, I mean, there's, it's a there's, challenge. There's it's a personal challenge, and it's it's a personal challenge. And the Saris don't count, <laughs> so it literally has to be an Angara or uh, a Turian, and I'm going for the Turian. So, what can okay. I say? Okay. I mean, what planets have you been to? Uh, we don't need to get into that. We've already talked about Mass Effect like, a lot. You can't even go to the same restaurant on a date because Turians can't eat human food because it's poisonous to them, and we can't eat Turian food because, like, you're just setting yourself up for heartbreak, Nick. I don't care. <laughs> it just it ain't right. <laughs> I always got PB to fall back on. I think PB is PB is good. I like PB. I don't. <laughs> she she was my love interest. What what? You know what? No, I'm not even gonna. I'm not gonna. What? No. You're gonna. Ask so me what I, I don't also like no. I, I don't want to talk about Let some me explain. Persona Five. Uh, real quick update on that. God damn it! That's like at the top of. That's like on my pile of shame too. That I'm. Uh, uh, I'm still enjoying it. Fuck. The story is still good. Uh, I, I've recently been doing a lot of the mementos. How many of the uh, of the three. dungeons? Okay, I've done two, three. I finished three. Um, uh, I'm there's so much to fucking do in that game. Uh, like I said, I recently decided to go into the mementos. Have you done mementos? Yeah. Yet? Um, and I had like four available to me, so I've been just kind of running. I've, through I've, those. I've accidentally found myself spending like two or three hours in mementos got got 44 hours in another tutorial yeah Jesus. they still keep coming yeah uh they haven't quite figured out the best way to like cover every well there probably isn't a way to cover everything they need to cover in that no. game in a reasonable amount of time there's not uh, but yeah persona 5 still delightful yep and i'm still gonna keep playing it. i'm thinking i'm thinking maybe like because we're getting well into 2018 and games are starting to come out I'm thinking maybe the best approach that I can take to this is like do one dungeon a month. Just make sure <laughs> just do one dungeon a month, Persona Five. Or just drop it. No, I'm not <laughs> dropping it. Crispy, I fucking love this game. I'm just Although I did look at the the release lineup right now and I'm realizing there's not really much until end of March. We got a little we got a little so ways. We got some, we got yeah. some Unless you're playing like Monster Hunter or something. Yeah. Yeah. Like this Well, when jerk. I can. It's fun. Is there anything you want to add to your Monster Hunter discussion from last week? Or? Uh, I don't. Ha, ha, did I mention last week that I'd gotten into high ranks finally? I don't, I don't think know so. what that means. Okay, so I got into high ranks finally, which means uh, the monsters are harder and the points don't matter. Um, but the uh, sorry, that was really fucking terrible. Mm-hmm. But the armor uh gets better and the stuff gets better okay so it's just better it's shit just more better it's just everything's better everything's more actually better. the cool thing is that like later on in the game they actually give you more freedom of customization of your equipment so like uh every armor set has an alpha and a beta version to it one will have like armor skills already like locked into it so like the the, the boosts that you get from wearing the different armors are associated specifically with those pieces hey, crispy real question real quick for you uh does the game have fashion armor so you know the the, the ability to wear something um but have different stats no but that's what i'm getting at here actually is that the the beta version of every armor has doesn't have any armor abilities on it but just has empty slots you find mm. jewels you slot them into those armors so you can actually like you know if you're like i want to wear this set of armor but i want to have these skills you can customize that yeah, armor cool. to have those skills and then once you're doing like the the high rank armors you can actually like change their color and everything so okay you can get a little fashion soulsy with it if you want um but it's still very much kind of a min maxi maximize your equipment kind of game cool um still cool still fun still great still, still learning a lot still hunting there, monsters it's i mean it's it's a very simple you know loop but there's a lot of little things to learn about how everything works still learning so it's nice. good okay all right well i hope it's I hope there's a lot of monster hunting in your future because there's also maybe maybe take a break from hunting monsters, hunt some some colossi, and then go back to hunting monsters maybe. 
Yeah. Maybe. No, actually, yeah. yeah I, mm, yeah. I might have something to say on that front later. Wonderful. All right. We're going to take a break right now. We're going to pet the dog, and then we're going to come back, and we're going to talk about the news and answer questions from our supporters on Patreon. So if you're watching us live, don't go anywhere. We'll be back after this short break. Back to the show, everyone. No, stop stealing my God, God. ejected from this fucking podcast. Oh, you're getting replaced with the dog. Oh, that'd be cool. That'd be great. Welcome back, Chris to the Davis. Sh- get out of here. <laughs> Welcome back to the show, everybody. Uh, we have a couple news topics. No, what was the other like? What? What? Stop saying stuff. You're killing me, guys. What's the news, Nick? There's actually not a whole lot of news, but there's some stuff worth mentioning. There's been. Oh my God, go back. We need overlays. Okay, we have some release dates to talk about. These are very quick to cover. Uh, the first we'll go with we'll go we'll go with the one that's actually releasing this month. Uh, Into the Breach oh, shit. has a release date. I'm sure you guys are excited for this. this oh, is I am very excited. the guys the guys who did uh, FTL their new game Into the Breach, which we've talked about a few times in this podcast. Did we play this at E3 or uh, PAX? Carlos or something? played it at Carlos uh, played it. At oh, Ranchero. Yeah, Ranchero. yeah, that's what it was. Yeah. In his memory, I'm going to get red for you guys. Ready? Here we go. <laughs> He is turning red. Oh, oh my god, his he's... ears. <laughs> oh my god. He's gonna pop. <laughs> <laughs> Holy what? shit. It's exactly That's like you, that Carlos. scene from Willy Wonka instead of but instead of turning violet, he turned red. I like how people in chat are like, Crispy, no, stop. But nobody tells <laughs> Don't Car- do it. <laughs> Nobody tells Carlos to stop when he does it. Yeah, no one knows. Oh my god. Hey, We're like, look, Illumination found the bulleted list. Look at that. No, no, That's down. Forbes. Down, down. See, I, I literally, there. I didn't touch that. I know. I did see you touch it, though. Guys. No, you, that's the same thing. What do y'all think? A second ago. <laughs> what do y'all think about Into the Breach coming out in like uh, a couple weeks? Fuck yeah. A couple By the weeks. end of the month. It's going to ruin my life. There's too many games. <laughs> it's so hard to click this. <gasps> he couldn't see it. He could see it. He oh, could you. see it. Oh, you clicked you... it. What did you do, Nolan? <laughs> Oh my god! How many? Oh my god! They're fucking like yeah, they have a gif showing you how. To, oh my god! Yeah. Whitelist something. Maybe we should find blocker. a different website. No, it's fine. I'll just Forbes. Just... Fuck you, right, guys? I just wanted a goddamn Every list. Oh, there it is. Link. Thank you. Echo, get on. <laughs> <laughs> These it, fucking ads. All right, let's rain it in, people. Mm-hmm. Rain it in. We've oh, got like a horse. Yes. You're oh, we're, we're, not, we're not talking about this yet. We're oh. still we're still on into the breach. Oh, Y'all yeah. excited? Yes, very much. FGL? Yes. February twenty seventh. February twenty seventh. That's in like nineteen days. Yes. Wait. Oh shit. Yes, nineteen days. Nineteen, 19, days. 19. three weeks. And evidently, some people actually already had the game. That's, That's not surprising. Doesn't evidently. necessarily surprise me. It is a PC game. It is an indie game. I heard it sucks. That happens a lot. <laughs> what? 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 I said I heard it was bad. That was a joke. Never mind. It's a... <laughs> oh my god! But uh, how could something that's bad be described with something that's good? The other game we have a release date for. Yeah. No, fair. What's up, Nick? From Don't Nod Entertainment, Ooh. the guys who did. Uh, why am I totally blanking on the name of that game? Life is strange. Mm-hmm. Um, and remember me. And remember me, <laughs> which I forgot. Everyone <laughs> always ha, ha, does. Ha, ha, yes. Ha, ha. Hey, I made that joke. The day we played Remember Me, and it sucked. Hey, I was. I think I'm the only one in this room that finished that game. I'm sorry. But I still forgot it. Anyways, point is, Vampire. 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 Has a release date of June 5th. I think mm-hmm. June 5th is the release date. Sounds right. Uh, so yeah, that game, we thought that was, that was originally supposed to come out l- end of last year. Then Correct. it got pushed, and now, we're, now it's coming out in June. Hey, that that's a lofty fucking game. I'm not surprised. You, do you think you think it's like be a lot? Are you are you anticipating vampire being like a I'm just like a hefty the world we've seen. I mean, it they, seems like there's a lot going on. They showed us like systems with characters dying and what happens to their homes and their families. I mean, for me, it's it, may, it might not be a huge like world that you can spend a hundred hours in, but I think 
that the it's so dense that that leads to potential er- er- like issues and errors and I, they yeah. probably have to make sure that's very like toit yeah toit not, not <laughs> to mention toit. that the build we saw was kind of rough yeah but that was also e3 last behind year. closed yeah doors but that's build. like seven months ahead of when it's supposed to release so yeah so now it's coming out a year after we saw it last so. David, so have you heard a thing called polishing a game there's a there's a whole year worth of polish, essentially, is what's happening here. Yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. So yeah, I'm just good. saying that's good. It's good news. The delay was good. It's How also not, dare you? It's also not coming out in, coming out in March. That's I don't need anything else. Thank in God, March. not coming out in April. I think we're good for April too. So yeah, that's good. June fifth, we'll take that. Nice. We're excited. Um, somebody Better pointed than Pacific Rim. I saw a meme the other day that pointed out the fact that it's kind of dumb that that what? vampires can walk around during the, at night. Mm-hmm. Because the moon is just reflecting sunlight, mm-hmm. yet they don't. You can't get a sunburn from the moon, though. Man. I know, but like, right. I don't think vampires are strong enough. Vampires something, aren't something bursting about into the radiation reflecting off the surface of the well, moon. Nick, the, neutralizes it in the no, vampire. Have, have you not seen the studies they've done where which on cheese, vampires? cheese has the ability to absorb radiation? Since the moon is made of cheese, when the sun's radiation hits it, cheese. Yeah, yeah. the moon's made of cheese. What is wrong yeah. with you, Nick? Yeah. Green cheese. Have the man in the moon Wallace is made out of cheese. Yes, I have watched Wallace and Gromit. Thank but you then, very much. But if it's absorbing all that radiation, why? Like, if it's absorbing radiation and not releasing radiation, why is no, all no, that light? No, no, no. no. It absorbs it? some of it. it only absorbs a cer- a certain oh. like uh, wave wavelengths of the radiation, and the rest get reflected. Does back. that mean that if a vampire is exposed to too much moonlight, they could suffer effects similar? To what they suffer in sunlight it's just the exposure time has to be much longer well, exactly they, 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 they would need burn? at least so they're 48 always hours of exposure dying to the moon. from uv radiation they just have to like manage it as best they can yeah whoa i'm glad we had this conversation i feel i feel a lot more knowledgeable now about mm-hmm. vampires so thank you i'm very much looking forward to playing that game we'll see what we'll see what happens we'll see on june 5th yep when we'll be we'll talking, we'll, we will inevitably be talking about that game on this very podcast. Um, I feel like there was another new topic that wasn't Red Dead. Uh, oh, Capcom. Mm. Capcom layoffs. They laid off some more folks. Yep. At the Vancouver studio. Formerly Blue Castle. Form- is that? Well, that was formerly Blue Castle. All right. Uh, van- 30% of the stuff at, at, at Capcom Vancouver, formerly Blue Castle, has been laid off, and the scope of the next Dead Rising game has been scaled back. How do you feel about this, Chris Davis? I know you're still kind of on board for Dead Rising. I hey, mean, the hot take. I, 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 I'll say Dead Rising 4 kind of sucked. Ooh, spicy. That was, it, that was it, the... Lo- wait. Oh, wait, no. That's the Christmas one, wasn't it? Yes. Yeah. It was the Christmas one that was kind of terrible and threw out, like, all the ideas that made Dead Rising unique. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, and there there were interviews like after four came out that said, if we make another one, we're going to have to change the scope and focus of the game of the series. Um, and evidently I'm assuming they, they tried to do that and it's not going well with the, the heads up at Capcom. Yep. Probably not. So I don't know what this next dead, I honestly to be, okay. I may be in the minority here, but I feel like I'm, I'm still kind of shocked to this day that dead rising is still a thing. Dead Rising, in my opinion, should have stopped after 3. 3 was a good game. 3 was the launch title for the Xbox yes, One. it was. And yeah. that was not amazing. It wasn't amazing, but it still had that Dead Rising charm to it. It struck me as the kind of series that, like, it it, it was like it was a launch title for the... Was it a launch title for the original Xbox 360? Not launch uh, title. It was, no, it was an early... Launch. It was early. Early, it was early release. Early. It was, and it was kind of interesting. It was a second wave title. And then we got... Dead Rising 2, which I think was a more refined, like, sequel, right? But I feel like it kind of should have stopped there. I don't know. I mean, then they did Off the Record, which was like a best of two oh. with the photo mechanics of one. And then they did the the two, like, it's DLC weird, chapters for two. It's just a weird series. I have weird feelings about Dead Rising. I don't know. We'll see what happens. I don't know what they mean, what exactly they're referring to when they say scaling back Dead Rising. I don't know what that, what that entails, because... I feel like if you scale back Dead Rising, you kind of lose what makes Dead Rising interesting, right? I mean, scaling back implies like... I mean, they already scaled back with Dead Rising 4 because they got rid of the timer, uh, which was 
but I don't. I feel like the timer isn't necessarily scaling. Like scaling back to me implies like technological, like technical, like they're reigning in their budget, which yeah. means technologically speaking, they're like the game has to be physically like smaller, less zombies on the screen, maybe less technically impressive. Which at that point, why are you even playing Dead Rising? Yeah, I don't think we're moving the the t- timer scales it back so much as it more it makes it more enjoyable. I feel like the timer is something that can be toggled on and off fairly. I mean, I agree. It, would be, a, it would be easier, I think, in my opinion, to ask the player, "Do you want the timer or not?" Yeah. But I don't know. We'll see. Only, only time will tell what what is in store for Dead Rising. That studio kind of sucks. Thirty percent of their staff has been laid off. So, which is sad. Which is sad. But you know, we talk about layoffs all the time. They'll get. They'll they'll land on their feet. Um. Uh. I think I know Brad's in chat. He wants me to mention this, and I don't honestly have a lot I can say about this. This is rumor and conjecture. But yes, there are rumors floating around now regarding. Uh, the development of Metroid Prime 4 and the, and rumored developers that are working on that project. Um, Bandai Namco Singapore? Supposedly, yeah. Is, I did not is know rumored, they had a location in Singapore. They do, apparently. And apparently, they're rumored to be helping with... Pro- I, don't think they're, I don't think they're rumored to be like 100% the developer. Because they've already... Nintendo's already said it's an internal development team, right? Yeah. That was, when they announced that game, they were like, it's being developed internally at Nintendo. So it's it's probably along the same lines as what Nintendo did with Monolith Soft for Zelda. Yeah. You know, some of the work around the topography and things like that, the map. Yeah. It's probably just little like outsourcing stuff. Yeah. That, see, that would make sense, especially since we've already seen them do it with Zelda. In fact, they did that so stealthily with Zelda that a lot of people don't even realize that Monolith Soft helped mm-hmm. with Zelda. Yeah. Um. So, yeah, you know, we'll see what happens. There's also rumors out of that kind of tied to that same thing that, um, what was it? Ridge Racer Eight is going to be is co- is coming out and it's going to be exclusive to the Switch. That's not developed in Singapore, right? I don't know if that's tied to the same studio, I'm, but it, well, I just most people in Singapore probably don't know how to drive that well. Oh <gasps> shit! Because it cost eighty thousand dollars to get a license in Singapore. Oh Does it? Yes. God. Yeah, because they're so overcrowded, you have to pay eighty thousand dollars to get. Sometimes a you see a license. car, you're like, damn, that guy's rich. Yes. <laughs> if you see someone driving a, like a two thousand five Honda Civic. Oh shit, he's probably rich. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh That's Brad so brings specific. up Brad brings up Monolith Soft is owned by Nintendo, which is true, but like when people were playing I mean, but Monolith Soft is not known for making Zelda. Zelda's always been developed by internal Nintendo team number 1 or whatever the hell. Um so to see to to know that Monolith Soft helped with Zelda is still kind of strange, even though, even though that is a first party studio owned by Nintendo. And, um, and I refuse to believe that it's not the same situation here with Bandai Namco, but it might be the same kind of thing where they're th- the scope of what of the kind of work they're doing on the project might be similar to what Monolith Soft was doing on Zelda. And there's and, and there are so few AAA games that are being developed these days that don't ha- that aren't outsourcing a bunch of their work. Yeah, I mean it's tough, especially with the limited you know, schedules, budgets. It's one of those things where it's just you know what. It's cheaper they want to make bigger games. Do the grunt work. They yeah. want to make the. They want to make bigger games and get them out this in, during the same amount. Like they want the same release schedule without, but to have bigger games, which is without outsourcing and and st- spreading it out more to different studios. That that would be kind of impossible. Um, that's how like things like Assassin's Creed got annualized because they were able to like send out that like s- divvy out that work to other studios, uh, and that ha- I know that happens a lot internally at at, at Ubisoft. With like, pretty much all of their major IPs, I think Splinter Cell. Yeah. I mean, all the that. major publishers do this. Yeah. Not necessarily shocking. All right, moving on. Um, so let's talk about uh, the last thing. I guess is the, the the the. This is also rumor and conjecture right now, but there has been a leak um, regarding Red Dead Redemption Two. We got a release date for Red Dead last uh, mm-hmm. last week, October twenty sixth. Right. Uh, I think twenty seventh. Twenty seventh. Sorry. Um. But yeah, so there's there's rumors coming out. Um from a fairly credible source regarding additional gameplay details and mode details within Red Dead Redemption 2. Um, a lot of the stuff is actually not necessarily surprising, but interesting nonetheless. Um, the big one being that there's there appears to be some sort of battle royale mode in Red Dead Redemption 2, which doesn't surprise me at all given the, it's all the, the success right now of uh, PUBG and, and, and Fortnite and other things like that. Um hmm. What, what, I don't know, what, what do y'all think about that? I'm, this is not a mode that I well, spend a lot of time this in. This so. particular Forbes article also says the NPD group estimates that around 30 games will either add this mode 
or release featuring this mode in 2018. That doesn't necessarily surprise me crazy. either, but it's also like... <laughs> That's crazy. It's like everyone wants to add this, and then by the end of the year, everyone's going to be fucking sick and tired of this mode. No, they won't. I, I don't know, probably not. But I mean, what? look at the MOBA craze from a few years back. It's always possible. It kind of died down a little bit. It, it died down in the past couple of years. Anyway, moving on. But like right out of the gate, they're gonna like they're gonna, you know, they're gonna blow their wad. I don't know, but it doesn't. This is this game seems seems like a pretty good fit for it. Uh, there's gonna be additional multiplayer modes, uh, which is not surprising either because you know Grand Theft Auto Five had quite a few. So did the original Red Dead. The multiplayer on that had many different yeah. modes. Yeah, yeah. This is all more. Like, some of these are actually just like more that. confirming things that we yeah. already suspected. Um, I, one of the bigger ones that this is all this was in GTA Five, but. Uh, there will be a first-person mode in the game, uh, in both the camp- campaign and the multiplayer modes, uh, which just seems interesting. Does that mean I could? Did anyone here play GTA Five? Yes, first person? Uh, I played it in first person a bit uh, on PC. Uh, it? It's fine. Yeah, yeah. it's just. First Does it feel person. like any other first-person shooter at that point when you switch to that mode? Yeah. Because I feel like, I mean, is it, it, would you consider GTA a shooter? Yeah, but like what I'm saying yeah, is like I, I don't. You do shoot sometimes I mean, you shoot in that things. game. But what I'm saying is, like, the characters in Rockstar games, they move, they feel, like, their the, motion feels different. It's pretty great for when you, like, pick up a hooker and she's giving you a blowjob in your car. And switch to first-person mode. See it. <laughs> As it's just, just look down and see it happening. <laughs> oh, my God. Wait, how, how did they handle that in GTA V? I don't I told someone giving you a blowjob. I'm going to assume that you couldn't tilt the camera down all the way to see Probably. it. Probably. Probably so. Or but... they may have locked you outside the third person perspective. <laughs> He's staying outside of the car. Oh, uh, no. You could definitely go inside the car. I, I'm not saying, like, he sees, like, I'm not saying I did it or anything. Around, but, yeah. like, you can definitely see her, like, just. Well, yeah. That was, yeah. That that was the case. You could see it from pretty much any angle uh, in GTA V. I like um, this next one. Th- so they're, they're apparently also adding a. Uh, Kind of what is like the natural natural extension of the apartment system from GTA Five, mm-hmm. except in this one you're going to have like uh, tents. You can upgrade to log cabins, maybe. There, well, yeah. Cabins. So the question is, can you upgrade them to like something other than tents? So, like, I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, probably. I mean, a yeah. tent does not seem like a very. It could be like a Harry Potter tent where it looks tiny on the outside, and you go inside, and it's huge. And Tardis sh- tent. Those are the best. That yeah. sounds like it wouldn't necessarily fit. You know what I mean? Why not? I don't know because. Red Dead seems like it's pretty grounded. How does it fit that when you die, you are all of a sudden back alive and playing again? Video yeah. games. Also, Video Yeti game and Bigfoot and hey, Chupacabra. First of all, those are all part of the horror expansion, which was... Your argument's moot. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I'm assuming you'll be, you'll, it won't, you'll, you won't be limited to tents. You're probably going to have cabins and shit. That would, that would be cool. Um, there's some more... Uh, talk about you know the online mode which is also going to be very similar to gta online with events and activities and things like that um there's gonna be multiple companion apps you know what i'll say about that last one is that i think has really kept gta on on, online alive is the fact that they do keep adding these events that are actually pretty fun and like it it gives you opportunities and they're still doing them to this day so like i still know you're gonna get rock star yeah yeah like, hey, by the way, this new event's happening this weekend. Like, and it's not like you have to. Oh, you have to come in and pay for it. No, it's just free. Yeah, you yeah, just they, go and do it. They recently put out one where you're in like flying DeLoreans and what? and you fly into Mount Chilladad and like whole new like levels and shit. Mount Chilladad is that what it was called? Yeah, man. Um, so yeah, that's exciting. I'm really hoping the the online modes in in Red Dead are more refined. I mean, I'm sure they will be, but like, you know, I loved the idea of red dead online back in the day and it was cool there was some, i had some fun with it there was definitely like, some issues but that was just because it was you know ps2 360 actually, actually ps3 somebody 360 during the break game. asked me what my, what my most anticipated game of 2018 was and i completely i said spider-man i completely forgot about red dead Oof. i think red dead is my most anticipated not surprising god damn i want that game so bad Dude, um Spider-Man also the last yeah it does look good the last uh bit of rumor regarding this is that the story is going to have branching paths depending on dependent on morality decisions and, and 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 uh okay. and discussion decisions that you make in the game which is cool uh was there i can't remember was that a feature in gta 5 I don't Not think so. really. This seems like this kind of seems like the first time they're doing something with. I that. mean, the only way I could say that could affect it was depending on who you chose to go on heist with you. The yeah. Heist could go either good or bad. 
that's really it though yeah so i don't know i i i, th- I they tell really good stories and i would but i would have loved to see maybe a little less you know a little more uh, room to you know a little more wiggle room as far as the way stories can unfold and, and characters can develop so yeah i don't know red dead redemption 2 sounds dope i hope most of these rumors are true yeah it seems like they probably are um hopefully it's the last leak at this point because so. i don't want to know everything about the game prior to its release but yeah, that's all the news we got. Actually, I got one more. Oh shit! <laughs> oh no! I got I got a last minute deadline report b- just now breaking from our man in the field, Carlos. Oh no. oh no! He wants me to say that as of January thirteenth, Smooth Doom has re-implemented the full N sixty four weapon skins. What is Smooth Doom? I hate you, Carlos. Is it like Brittle Doom? I don't know. It, that's what it says. If I had a choice between playing Brutal Doom and Smooth Doom, I think I'd go with Brutal Doom. Just oh, says... you'd go for Brutal Doom anyway because of the soundtrack. What's the soundtrack? Like it's it's like Nick death music. metal. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course I would. I, I wouldn't did... you? It's Doom. I did see a video the other day in which a modder had put in Diva's Mecha from uh, Overwatch into Doom. I don't know what that what? is, but. That yeah. sounds cool. Diva from Overwatch. Girl with the robot. She has a big robot that she pilots and it has like... Oh, they put her shot. in the game or her like... Her, her mech. mech. Oh, her mech. Gotcha. Interesting. Um, all right, Ooh, Nolan. That's it. Are you ready to hit us with some sweet, sweet questions? From the community. Maybe you can teach Butters to like howl. Uh, maybe. During this segment. Yeah, I know she's got... I know, I know, to bite us I know he's ass. got it in him. Yeah, probably. Uh, but first, uh, we do have some new patrons. We do. That we want to uh, recognize. Yes, we do. For their patronage. Um, well, two of them. Uh, first one is Dishwasher. No, I think you said Dishwasher last week. Did I? I know because I was listening to the podcast the other day. I know it's weird. Well, you know what? Sometimes. But you know you, what? Thank you, you anyways, Dishwasher. Then Back this again. the actual new one um is rise of the ninja yes rise of the ninja rise who's the also ninja, yes. who's also been very active in discord so uh <laughs> thank you for that and yeah. who also asked us a question this and week. he's also a hanzo main but he's all, uh, yeah. of course he is <laughs> uh before we get to his question we have some other questions from our patrons this week first one coming uh from sir thomas thipple there's a quote okay first of all just real quick there's a question in here that uses our word. Yeah, no, no, okay. no. I, yeah, no, gotcha. I know. I know. I already read it. Okay. Um, we've all had those dumb moments from our youth. <laughs> Thank you, Nolan. That we reflect on as adults and say, wow. Was that it? That was no, dumb. Like eight times. <laughs> What's one moment or action you wish you could go back in time and stop your young, dumb self from committing? <laughs> oh, my God. No crazy butterfly effect bullshit will happen because of the change. You'll just have one less cringy memory to reflect on. Oh, God. Dude, so many. Every decision so many. I've ever made. Dude, there, there's just like random days where I remember things I did and I'm like, oh my. What see, can this I say on the podcast? See, this kind of comes back down. to like my memory being bad. I, luckily, I, I remember very little of these moments. I feel like. Uh, Dude, I was like really annoying from like ages eight through like 15. Like looking back on that, I'm like, God damn! Yeah, I annoyed the shit out of my parents. I'd go back and like, like pop myself in the mouth. I'm like, shut up! You're stupid. Huh. There's a lot of times where my life would have been easier if I had just been like, "Yep, cool," instead of like arguing with somebody <laughs> about something. One thing I found that really helps at work <laughs> is if someone's like going off on a rant or something, yeah. like in like the chat. We have we use Slack at work. Yeah. I'll just respond, "Neat." Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and it probably really pisses them off. Just yeah, neat. <laughs> oh my god! You know, there's probably I don't have a specific example, but I feel like there's probably a pl- been plenty of moments where like, and it's usually probably something that happened to work where I would I said something out loud, not realizing the person I was talking about was mm. like hearing it or something. Yeah, you know, yeah. um, there's been a. I'm sure there's been an email or two that I've maybe sent where I said something. I was like, but then accidentally sent it to the person that I was, you know, Ouch. that may have happened once or twice yeah. in my life. That that would have been nice, maybe be able to go back and undo that shit. <laughs> uh, yeah. There was yeah. that time that I that I that I that I went when I was at Slitterbond and I jumped out of the water and hit my head 
on the the mermaid boob. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Gave myself a really large nipple bump on my head. We'll go with bump. Yeah. Um, that oh, was kind the, of embarrassing. In the wave like river. No, this, well, it wasn't the wave. It was just one of the. It's, it's a river. It goes in circles, yeah. but it's just a current. It's not like uh, waves or anything. But I was trying to. Like, I was trying to swim against the current, right? Like a salmon. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I came out, and I was too close to the wall, and they had these like big like, like statues jackass. coming out the side, and a big mermaid with like big boobs. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I just hit my forehead right in the end of her mm-hmm. boob, like really hard, and I had like a huge bump, like coming out an inch off my fucking. I believe mermaid head. boobs are referred to as moobs. Yeah. And on that day, he became an ass man. <laughs> That, that was the de- that was the defining moment where I was like, "Yep, I'm into butts." Yeah, for this me, I, I don't know. I, like, there's a lot of fucking really I'm embarrassing things. Uh, like one, I, I vividly remember, and like I, it was when I was like a freshman in college or something, and I was like leaving a classroom and I had a water ball and I threw it and it missed the trash can. It barely it hit like the rim and then bounced out, and some guy went to pick it up and I was like, "Nah, dude, I got it." And he's like, no, it's okay. And then I, I like knocked it out of his hand. I'm like, dude, it's my trash. I'll pick it up. But like looking back, I'm like, man, that, that was, was a like, real dick <laughs> move. Right? <laughs> right? Like, I, like I, I, I could see where like you're coming from where it's like, ah, I'm just being like playful and yeah. energetic. Like, no, bro, I said I'll get it. But yeah. like, like your appreciation of comedy kind of goes out the window when somebody slaps something out of your hand <laughs> like like oh. that kind of like that yeah. kind of triggers your oh, lizard dude, brain i think about no. it all the time i have I hate like, myself every time i, think I have about i it. have i have a few that i'd, I'd actually rather not go into detail but yeah. there's been a few and they the they... <sighs> have you ever had someone go for a handshake but you thought they were going for a hug every time <laughs> <laughs> it's so awkward there's been a few things i do that all like i did that last week somebody came in and i was like handshaking and they're like no and i'm like okay. no, no 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 that's not what i'm talking oh, no, about other way i'm talking yeah. about like someone goes to give me a handshake and i thought they were going for a hug in my opinion if you're going to shake someone's hand like cross your body like almost make a barrier between you and them don't do like if if, if i wanted to shake chris davis's hand i wouldn't do this because that seems like I'm going in for like a hug. You know what I'm saying? I'm the like way, put, the way the I would way you, I would either do this like hey see, let's the, shake hands. The, the, the way the you thing pull to pay out attention of that to, is you just get really theatrical with it, like ah uh, boom, and then like bring the hand back. You see, know what you gotta do is you gotta pay attention to the other hand, see what it's doing. Because if you're going in for a hug, you're like this. You can do okay? one arm hugs. I do. I mean. I get. I guess you could. All the time. Yeah. From your girlfriend. Right. There's. <laughs> we, we need to move on. There's been several. Okay. There's been several occasions where I've gotten way drunker than I wish I had, and I, I regret those probably more often than not. And where I've did done or said enough. something to a girlfriend and been okay. like, "Fuck, why did I do that? Why did yeah. I say that? Shit." But I'm not going to go into details on this. Like, I just totally fit in there. Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Next question. Moving yeah. on. Moving Next on. Mr. Green Toast asks, <laughs> Next one. what's the worst case of a badly behaved kid you've ever seen? For example, I once entered a public bathroom, gross, and saw a kid at a urinal step backwards and pee straight up <laughs> with enough force to hit the ceiling tiles to create a dripping effect everywhere. <laughs> How fucking high was this ceiling? All right. Was this like a was the this like a bathroom got, for ants? What the fuck? Kids got good flow. <laughs> Man, I kid must have had to. Really so, oh I, my god! I have a very vivid memory of this kid, and I can't remember his name now. I'm pretty sure if I looked up like like people I went to elementary school with, I could probably find him. But I remember walking into the bathroom in my elementary school. I'm at like fourth, fifth grade, and I guess all the stalls were taken. So this kid drops his pants and takes a shit in the urinal. <gasps> And then waddles across the bathroom and gets some paper towels. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty gross. Oh my god, the, I, yeah. I I can't think of anything specific. Uh, I I, I do rem- I do recall when I went to Disney World seeing a lot, a, a lot of really ungrateful, misbehaving children. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. I you know like I don't know I I can't think of one only because. There's like so many. I, I just assume that kids have zero perspective or zero idea of like no they don't of like what they're doing or they like why they're doing anything and I, I like I just I have a hard time being bothered by that you know I think it kids, depends like I think kids are categorically assholes and you should just let them be assholes because we I mean not saying that like parents shouldn't try to correct them but like you in public seeing like a parent struggling with a kid like. 
yeah, like that. That was that's that was jo- everybody at one point. That's the job. Like that's what it is. Like that's what kids are. But for me, it's 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 most of them grow like, up into normal people. Where I'm in the <laughs> grocery store and I see kids knocking things off the shelf. Yeah, and their mom's over there just like on her phone. Yeah. Like doing this, that's when I get kind of yeah. pissed off. There yeah. is definitely yeah, dude, a line. I mean, I like... There, there's another another memory. I my first job at Hollywood Video. I'm I'm walking. I was like going to put some DVDs back on the shelf, and I walked. I I walked past the kids aisle, and a girl has individually taken at least thirty like VHSs because we still had all the yeah. kids were on V and stacked them in a tower in the middle of the aisle. Yeah, I... and I looked at her, and her mom was there, and I looked. At I her looked mom, at her, and, and I just stared at her mom, them. and her mom was like. Let's put these back, and I'm like, yeah, let's fucking put those back. How about you do that? I'm yeah, not gonna do I it. But I mean, come on, that's still more the adult than the kid. I feel like, and that, I think that's most of the case. Like... I mean, <laughs> next I question, uh, Gonzo Lud, what was the heaviest band you ever got into? The heaviest. What, what, what are, I mean, there by was, weight, by popularity. Yeah, what are we talking about here? Like a bunch of fat guys by density. <laughs> Why do I feel like this question? Um, how much water does this band displace? <laughs> <laughs> Heaviest? I don't uh, know. Dude, I was really into this band called the Beatles for a while. Lincoln Park? Shut up. <laughs> really? <laughs> uh, I don't know. Gross. Like ACDC? The you know Lincoln Park was why, actually why are, like, why Doobie Brothers? Why are those heavy? I don't know. Doobie you Brothers? Can't just, you can't just this, fucking start naming I random bands. Doobie Brothers. I, f- I find... Queen? Why is Queen Smoke, heavy? Fat bottom girls. That's okay. That's a bit I wouldn't, of a I wouldn't call that heavy. Uh, oh, because it was a fat. Yeah. 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 Fuck you, Chris. Uh, I don't know. They make the rockin' world go round. Yes, you can start fucking singing Queen, bow, but maybe don't bow, do that. Bow, bow. Um, yeah, I don't know how to answer this question. Yeah, heavy. Gonzo, heavy. try again next week. Moving okay, on. how about this? Zero skies ass. Did I get to avoid that? When question? I was in high <laughs> school, I. Uh, I was convinced for a minute that I liked the band Iced Earth. Oh. So, yeah. That's heavy? That's pretty heavy. Right? High five. I know. They're fucking... That horror That's movie album fucking Viking, album that Viking they did, metal. That horror movie album that they did was really good. Uh, I, wasn't, I wasn't a Rammstein for a while. Rammstein's heavy? Yeah. I, I really like. I remember one of the first videos Rammstein I saw I was him like slamming the microphone into his head and his head was like bleeding and he was still singing into it and stuff. Yeah. And I was like, Jesus. Uh, does does Guar count? Guar's pretty... All right, moving on. Zero <laughs> Skies. I didn't get to answer the question. Didn't hurry up. No, never mind. Okay, Zero Skies. What was the longest period of time you stopped playing games? Were you busy with school, work, another fun hobby at the time? Right now has been a pretty long time for me. Uh, like game of the year shit. For me, it was probably this past summer when I moved to this house. I went a good almost like month and a half. Um, mm. Just because I was so busy like packing and moving and dealing with all that shit. I don't know. There was, I mean, there's been, uh, there's been times in my life where I've been like down because of things. And I just didn't, f- I don't feel like, I like playing games when I'm happy. Sometimes it's easier to watch a TV show than it is to play a game. Yeah, yeah. Uh, TV show like well, I, I like when I get in situations where I'm like not depressed, but like you know, just not overall thrilled about my situation. I tend to gravitate towards like watching TV or or like TV shows or movies or something rather than playing games. Great games are just so involved and they take so much time. Because when you watch a TV show, you get to watch someone else making a bad decision yeah. as opposed yeah. to playing a game. Yeah, hey, yeah you, you're absorbing. You're not I, interacting. Have you ever seen the sh- show Shameless? Uh, oh my I've god, that's just it. bad decision after bad decision. That's all that show is. Yeah, I don't know how that show keeps going. <laughs> like, it's like Weeds. I was really into Weeds after like oh, I forgot about. And weeds. then after like six seasons, I was like, I can't with watch, fucking like you're... mini mini driver. Like and all Izzy... of the drama is... is built out of you being an idiot. Like... No, you're thinking of Veep. No, Weeds is mini mini driver. No, no, no. Oh, that's Riches. No, oh, I forgot about that, that show. And Eddie Izzard. Oh wait, never mind. Actually, that's I, very different. And then I just realized Veep doesn't have many driver either. I don't no, know who I'm. That's I'm Julia thinking, Lu- Louise. Yeah, Dreyfus. I we're all discombobulated. Veep is great. Well, I love Which Veep. one's Weeds? Weeds is. I don't, oh, when they I starts, don't when she starts selling weed. Yeah, yeah. It's, okay, she's like a mind. suburban. Never mind. Okay. California mom okay. who sells weed. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But Forgot. then, like, yeah, then it just gets crazy. Um, the longest period I that I can remember not playing games. I didn't play games a lot when I first moved to Austin. Uh, so I moved to Austin uh, in like a, like the end of May in 2010, and 
I didn't really play much games. Crispy, and then, you're like, really low. Uh, I moved to Austin. You don't have to do that, in May. Okay, I don't know. I'm just trying to find the middle ground here. That's probably good. <laughs> okay. Uh, so from like May to maybe October-ish. Well, yeah, like September, October-ish. I wasn't really playing games. And then I got the urge to play Assassin's Creed 2. So Great I went game. to GameStop. And while I was at GameStop, I saw a flyer for a job fair that they were holding. I went to that job fair and I got hired at the GameStop where I met Nick. Worst decision of his life. And here I am. <laughs> 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 so you're saying it's our fault it's your fault all right moving it's, on it's assassin creed next assassin question creed next question this week from kn cito knc cito what video game world would make an awesome amusement park with theme rides shops etc that you would go to on the flip side what world would be a strange amusement park but you would still go and check it out hey i think bethesda did a pretty good oh. job of making a theme park out of their worlds last time that i mean I, cool. I, I think the default answer here is gold saucer Oh yeah, well, I, get, I mean, that's I mean, that's, not that's that is world. straight up a, that is a amusement park in a video that game. Yeah, that's that doesn't work. So Final Fantasy Seven. Okay, how about the Mushroom Kingdom? Oh wait, NBC Universal is already doing that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, let's I mean, see what else. What this else? is the part where we start looking at Nolan's collection of oh, video games on the wall. I would want to go to a Borderlands <laughs> <laughs> theme park or a Skyrim theme park. Red Dead Redemption would be a cool theme park. <laughs> yeah, like a Western theme park. Western theme park would be awesome. It, okay, Fantasy Camp. Resident Evil. Fantasy Camp. That'd be so, that sounds more like a like a we kind of like got a, a haunted, taste. haunted house. We kind of got a taste yeah. of that with the with the puzzle room. Well, no, no. There's been the like a, like Six Flags in Houston every Halloween would Ooh. like turn the entire like theme park or amusement park into like a haunted what house, about, like the entire thing. That would be cool. What about a Rapture theme park? That'd be uh, kind of cool. Oh yeah, that'd be cool. If they, feel Especially like if it was of, actually under you the could have, like, roller coaster that going rapture. Through rapture I thought you were talking about like the rapture. No, no. what? No. <laughs> You've been reading too much of your Bible. <laughs> oh my god. No, like all the Bible. Dude, yeah, the like Hyrule would be a cool Hyrule theme park. Cool. I mean, fucking Hyrule from Ocarina of Monster Time is Hunter? basically set up like a theme park the, already. Uh, the Universal Studios in Japan has a lot of Monster Hunter stuff there. They have like a Monster Hunter ride and everything. So that exists. Rise of the Ninja says Fallout. That might be a good one. Uh, I mean, we, we kind of got a taste of that at, at E3 last year when we went to the yeah. Bethesda yeah. thing, which was weird in and of itself. But, like, they had some cool ideas for, like, ways to kind of turn their... What Dude, about Nuka World? Nuka World. Right. What about, like, a Red Faction gorilla theme park? Where everything falls everything's apart. Just a everything's just made of cardboard. <laughs> and they All just the give sp- you a sledgehammer as you walk in. Yeah. Ride this ride that is, that or is giant very ostrich. loose and <laughs> easy to fall apart. Yes. Um... I don't know. Yes, Dark Souls theme park. All I right. agree with you, Jim. No. Moving on. Next question from our newest patron, Rise of the Ninja. Who's also in chat. What is your favorite video game theory for a certain video game or video game franchise? I personally always love the intro, uh, indoctrination theory for Mass Effect Trilogy theory. myself. What was the indoctrination theory? The uh, idea was that Shepard was infected with the Reaper uh, nanotech. So everything you saw at the end of mass effect three was basically a delusion oh is that just made by people who didn't like the ending probably yes basically oh hmm. Hmm. that's tough i'm trying to think of oh theory. man i have to dig deep try and figure out i mean i've i mean there's there's been a lot of theories surrounding like silent hill has been as, as a series has always had you know there's been a lot of theories about how they're connected and uh, but I can't think of any one specific theory that I that resonated with me. Um, I'm having trouble thinking of anything. Yeah. Um, theories. Because some of the theories <laughs> that you know I would think of like got addressed or answered in like a later entry in a series. True. Mm. I don't know. I don't know the Mario smoking weed one J fifty two. I'm not familiar with that theory. Uh, that he's like high, the whole, he's high the whole time. He's a plumber and he just gets high. No, no, no. no. He's he, he'd have to be doing like mushrooms or something. Right? Yeah, it makes more sense. He'd have to be doing some real psychotropics. Oh, and the problem with some of these theories is that they're like the Dallas syndrome. Oh, God you know, where, damn. yeah, where it's that just was, it was, it all was dream. a dream. It was all a dream. Like, it wasn't yeah. real. Hey, yeah. he's digging a little into the green screen trying to get a. 
bed going. Oh, yep. There he goes. He's using the green screen as a bed. That's cool. That's fine. I don't like theories. No, I I can't think of a good one. Wasn't there one that uh, Mario and Luigi were gay? I don't know. Are they not? (laughs) (laughs) That's not a theory. That's They're brothers. Oh, wait. (laughs) Oh, right. They're brothers. (laughs) Gay brothers. (laughs) They're not gay with each other, God. Oh, I see. I yeah. get. You. I got gotcha. you. Peach and Daisy are all facade. It's all about Bowser. Their beards. Tag team. And yeah, Bowser. I think that's, that's kind of all I, I can. Yeah, I got nothing. Well, sorry. sorry. I mean, I'll, I'll give you one that's not game related that I, I like. Okay. The theory that all the Pixar movies, you know, actually occur in the same universe. I don't think that's a theory. I think they do. Do they? Yes. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, if if you actually how, read how into it, work? like it's, oh yeah, 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 because they have to they have to construct a timeline that connects like the real world movies with like the Monsters Inc. world and the Cars world, or the Brave, which is like or, kind yeah. of fun, but like like Brave is according yeah, to the series supposed whatever. to be like a post apocalyptic film. So it's like a here's a theory I hate that fucking Zelda is like a cohesive. Oh yeah, that is no, kinda... but it is, isn't it? I mean, they ordered it into an actual timeline. It's because a, people forced them canon, to. Nick. I mean, they, it's, it's canon. <laughs> yeah, but that that's canon until the next game comes out and it fucks everything up. No, it's pronounced Ganon. It's Ganon, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anyway, moving on. Final question for the evening: Brucey the Wizard asks, if you could eat one dish or food item from a video game, what would you choose? Ooh. That's All right. a good one. All right, I'm going to just go here's what I'm going to I'm going to go with uh I can't I can't think of one sp- specifically but Muramasa the Demon Blade. Was it, I love that game cuz of all the food and stuff that you you're getting in that game. It's almost all sushi. <laughs> so I fucking love sushi. So I'm going to go with that. They had, I think they had so, some ramen in there too. It's like two of my favorite fucking things in the world. So. I I don't know. There might be a better answer out there somewhere. I mean, it would be nice to try Nuka Cola. It's probably they, just Coca-Cola, they've made right? that. It, no, they, no, 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 not 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 the fucking Nuka Cola Quantum made by licensed by fucking. Uh, oh, what is he that wants the company? authentic, real? I mean, shit. what does it taste like in the Fallout universe? Radiation. Does it taste like Coca Cola? Probably. It probably tastes like a hundred year old Coke. I don't know, tastes but like tingling. but the real answer because I'm still playing this game and I'm assaulted with it every time I play is uh like anything from monster hunter like like all yeah, the food I was gonna say. all the food in monster hunter is fucking incredible looking see butters knows what's up he heard yeah. food uh he just perked right up the 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 herbs from resident evil that i want to just get a plant eat it and just all of a sudden i like, like the theory that that you, you smoke them. That you, you can have smoke the experience that. it's called <laughs> tic tacs no how about uh what Tic-tac. Resident Evil 6. You convert the Go herbs fuck yourself. into fucking Tic Tacs in that fuck game. Dude, dude, every That's not what I hunter, said. Like... I said I want to take this plant, eat it, and then all of a sudden I'm healed. Dude. Nah. I don't know. I just... At that point, Senzu Bean, right? Yeah. Why not Senzu Bean? What would a Senzu Bean be like? Or a potion? What I want, a you know what? I kind of feel the same way that Crispy does about Monster Hunter with Final Fantasy XV. You know, like all the food you, when you get when you go into the diner. Look all look, or when you like cook it at your uh, campsite. All looks really dude, fucking delicious. Dude, when when she fucking pulls that like whole roasted chicken out and it's like the the it's skin gorgeous. is the the exact perfect like golden brown delicious crispy skin and like the fat is still like bubbling on it and Wait, uh, is she like she smells it. Monster it, Hunter. Monster Hunter. Yeah, from Monster Hunter. Is yeah, that what you were talking about. I was talking about. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was talking about Final Fantasy 15. Oh, I'm sorry. No, I like you said camping, and I was thinking of the camps in Monster Hunter. But, but yeah, fuck what you said. The stuff in Monster Hunter. Scarecrow says he wants to eat the pixelated food from Breath of the Wild. Yeah, <laughs> I, dude. There's a there's a YouTube channel called Binging with Babish, and he does food from like TVs and, and he did a Zelda. He did, episode. he did some video games, and he does a whole Zelda episode. And like one of the things he makes is like a little monster cake and everything. Like he he does a whole bunch of that stuff. It was it's great. really good. It was really cool. Nice. Binging with Babish. Yeah. Look it up. I I just want to try wall chicken. His name's not Babish. It's Andrew. It's not. Yeah, it's not. No. But that's it's, the name of It's the part show. of his character. I understand. Yeah. Dude, I've seen every single episode of Binging with Babish. Go fuck yourself. Okay. Did you see the newest one? Yes. Oh. What was it? 
Hold on. Uh, there was bread. Lies! Hold on. There was bread involved. Oh, Hold was, on. Yeah, I couldn't the, remember The bread was. sticks. Was, no, he made the dipping he, sticks. He made oh, the, yeah, yeah, He made the bread sticks. I was thinking of the... No, uh, it was a Breaking Bad episode. It was a Breaking Bad episode. No, I was thinking of the... What was the other one that he did? It's like um, the, the fucking hen's nest or whatever. It's like a piece of bread with an egg. Oh, yeah. That was the episode before that. Yeah. yeah. Damn. Anyway. Anyway, I think it's time to move on. Yes. Thank you so much for your questions. All, every week we post a thread on Patreon. Uh, any patron who donates $1 or more can ask any question they want. Uh, the thread usually goes up on uh, Tuesday or Wednesday. Sometime the before the podcast. Usually. Yes. Yeah. It could go up Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, or even Thursday. Sometimes Friday. Just kidding. That's mm, not, I don't think it's that's ever going up on a Friday. If the podcast is on a Friday. Oh, my God. All right. Anyways. Uh, thank you guys so much for your questions. Now it is time to wrap up the show with the four-player minute. I won't forget you this week, Noah, I promise. Thank you. And Feel to ensure me. that happens, I'm going to let you go first. So that way I can forget Crispy <laughs> cool. this week. Uh, all right. Uh, my four-player minute starts now. My hype um, is for Butters. What else would it be for? Butters. Uh, my, 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 butters. 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 My brand new puppy, Butters. Um, uh, Brent and I are going uh, this weekend to the, the Pet Smart uh, to you know, buy some stuff for him and uh, you know, trying to puppy proof the house and all that stuff. It's it's, it's fun. Hope, but uh, I, I guess uh, that will. I, I my second hype uh, is also in regards to butters. I'm excited for next week when I get to take his cone off. I bet and, that's his hype. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, hopefully he'll finally be a happy puppy. Um, uh, my sweat. Uh, is going to go to Subnautica, uh, mainly just because uh, the when I've been playing it lately, there's just like mm, there's so much to do, and I want to th- spend forty hours building a base uh, and do all this other stuff, but I just I don't know how to spend my time with that game. Yeah. Uh, besides getting distracted, uh, and then uh, I had a thank you, but I lost it. Ungrateful butters. Yeah, thank ungrateful. butters. No, not yet. I mean, I'm thankful that Butters hasn't made a mess in the house yet. What if you said thanks, Butters, and he just stood up and pooped? That uh, would right be horrible. Well, he is Thank you, City of Dallas. Well, not the City of Dallas. It's uh, a it's a private shelter that I got uh, him from. Thank you, private shelter in Dallas. Yeah. Yeah, whatever. Right, I will right. say, I do quickly, I do have a sweat uh, for uh, Super Tony Land, uh, just because I do love Robot Loves Kitty. Um, and, uh, the, I just was not as, as impressed with that game as I was hoping. Once again, it still is an alpha could completely change. Uh, the issues I have with it are easily fixable. So just what, what is that game? Super Tony Land? I, yeah. I described it. I, I guess you, I didn't catch like, it. I, I, I don't think you actually went into detail. Yeah. I mean, you said uh, cave, cave story and... meets Super Mario Maker. Okay. That must have missed that. That's, we'll talk about it when you actually have. Time to play, you All know. Right. Yeah, I kind, of, I kind of have to see it. All right, Chris Davis. Picture Cave Story meets Super Mario Maker. I mean, I don't okay. know what that means. Yeah, sure. <laughs> okay. Chris Davis. Uh, my hype this week, uh, it goes to the Super NT. Uh, if y'all remember the analog <laughs> NT, it was a custom. <laughs> it was. No. Oh, y'all should know about this. It was a, it was a custom made NES system. That uh, original I, NES, yeah, original NES that reproduced all the circuits and and all the gizmos in it to make it actually play original cartridges. It's not emulation; it's actually you're you're playing an original Nintendo. So, except so isn't it made just by a third an, party? Oh, that's okay. I was about to say, so then, doesn't that just make it a Nintendo? <laughs> well, well, they released they released this week the Super NT, which is for the Super Nintendo. Dude, how many people have cartridges that still work? Uh, I do. Don't you know? Yes. No, I'm, I do, but I'm saying how many people do. But I'm pretty certain there's a good portion of the retro. So a lot of those, don't they have batteries in there that can go bad? I mean, yeah. And you can like let, not be able to save games? Yeah, but at Ugh. the same time, you can, A, you can replace the batteries. How much is the Super NT, Chris Davis? The Super NT, the, the original analog NT was like 400 bucks. The mini NT came out like a year later and was like 300. You still get this to answer is, my this question. This is 190. That's ridiculous. But it, it'll it'll I don't run. Get it. It'll upscale any Super Nintendo game or any Super Famicom game up to 1080p 60. Why uh, would it, you want that? Because you want to have reference quality gameplay if you want to record something, for example. But like, like that's. Why do? 
P- also, playing you, old games like that at, at also that Also, you don't want to play a game that was 240p back in 1991 on a 1080p or 4K TV. You you want to play it as as good looking as condition I guess, as possible, or just don't play them. I'm just sorry. I'm not. Excuse me. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Some of my top ten games of all time are from the Super Nintendo era. Fair enough. Okay. Sure Fair enough. Uh, my sweat goes to the remainder of the Game of the Year award content. Uh, my script that I'd written like a week in advance from a video disappeared up and ran away like i have no idea where the fuck it went and uh so i had to rewrite it over the past three days i guarantee you and uh as soon as he's done working on the video he's gonna find the script <laughs> i i'm fairly certain that's gonna happen oh man i can't uh, wait that's the, the way rage. it works that's it's what it works the rage uh, no i don't ever put anything on my desktop uh until you do until i do i guess uh yeah we're I'm behind on that. We've got a few more videos to work on. I'm hoping to get my video up by Saturday. Yeah, that's fucking something I forgot to mention at the top of the show because I was distracted. Because yeah. you butters. didn't mention your video? I was looking at Butters. I know, I forgot. All of our videos. I forgot oh. to just mention all of our videos are out. <laughs> yeah. With the exception of yours. Except for mine. And the, game, and the community videos. And, yeah. You know, but those the, come after you finish yours. So. And the award podcast. But yeah. And I'll, and I'll get back to like the regular podcast editing probably next week. Yeah. And I've got like four of those I gotta do anyway, so uh I don't really have a thank you. You ungrateful son of a bitch. I'm an ungrateful son of a bitch this week. Uh, I really don't care. Uh but I also don't have a fuck you either. Cause I'm I'm in a relatively good mood right now that I'm getting all this shit done. Cool. So, all right. So yeah, I think it's Chris's turn. Crispy. Why oh, it's your turn. No, I'm doing. I'm I'm going last, so I don't forget anybody. He does that. Okay. Remember? He forgot me once. Can't have. He forgot that. me in a Target parking lot for like two hours. <laughs> 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 Why do you just go back into Target? So, uh, my hype is for Shadow of the Colossus remake. Nice. I've got it sitting on my desk at home, still deliciously wrapped in plastic. Um, my, next type is for <laughs> Yakuza 6, because that's coming up in a couple months and looks good. Uh, saw some screenshots from it earlier today that looked really nice on Twitter. I'm just, <laughs> uh, my, uh, next hype is actually a sweat and that sweat is that i have less time to play games now than i have ever before ever and and i uh, in a period of time when i was like actively playing games yeah so it sucks because i don't have hardly any time to get through the stuff i want to get through and i'm playing monster hunter which (laughs) will take up ag- a- as much time as you want to throw into it. Yep. Um, and how about a third hype, which I'll probably repeat again next week, but fuck it, I don't care. I'm fucking hyped. Uh, Black Panther next week. Oh, shit. Yes. Yes. And not only that, but we have... I'm in- so glad we're caught up we in have, all the Marvel movies. We yes. have Black Panther, Infinity War, Ant-Man and the Wasp, and uh, Solo, or whatever, Han yeah. Solo, all before this fall like all by this summer yep fucking nuts is is venom this fall as well no i don't fucking october. care that's, that's an october i don't fucking care i'm just asking the question why would you okay? ask him that also <laughs> why'd ret- you wake the beast? retroactive thank you to the eagles for fucking beating the patriots yeah fuck, fuck the patriots fuck those guys yeah hey, that's not well, lonely, lonely, oh, also i have one more hype it is Cool. Uh, so tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow afternoon, probably around noon, Carlos and I are going to spend a few hours playing Shadow of the Colossus on the feed. He's going wait. To when play. is that happening? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Tomorrow afternoon. He's going to come over to my place. He's going to play the HD remake of Shadow of the Colossus from the PS3. Wait, is this going to be a dual stream? This is going to be a dual stream. So he's going to play on one feed the ps3 version of shadow of the colossus while i'm playing the ps4 version of shadow of the colossus on the uh mainstream so 
tomorrow. It's not on the calendar. This is <laughs> this is a Sorry. this is a stealth drop announcement. This is happening tomorrow, okay. probably around noon. I would have to say, and we'll probably go until about three. Sweet. Cool. We'll get so. that on the calendar then. Uh, thank you, Crispy. Thank you. My hype. I'm probably gonna have a bunch of hypes too. My hype. I'm gonna start with movies. Just in general, there's Excuse there's a ton me, of movies sir. that I'm excited about. So many that I, oh my god! <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Oh my god! Hello, butters. Okay, right. he wants to be on the podcast. He has a four player minute. All right, what are you mm-hmm. hyped about, butters? No, yeah, butters. He's what hyped you... about taking off his cone. Well, he's still got a week. Oh, he's about to scratch it. Uh, yeah. All right. Aww. Anyways, mo- I, I, how can I compete with this? <laughs> movies. I'm excited for. There's so many movies coming out that I can, like. Crispy mentioned Solo. I'm pretty excited for that. Uh, Red Sparrow's coming out pretty soon. The one with Jennifer Lawrence looks pretty good. Red Sparrow? Uh, a Quiet Place, which is a the horror movie with uh, John Krasinski and uh, Emily Blunt. <laughs> that looks fucked up. That looks so cool. I'm fucking excited for that. Uh, also, some of the, the bigger ones, uh, Mission Impossible, Fallout looks really cool. Jurassic mm-hmm. World 2 even looks kind of cool. Looks like a horror movie again, which is... Uh, I didn't see that coming. I haven't seen the second trailer. The second trailer is much better than the first, in my opinion. Um, yeah, man, that's just. And then, of course, like you said, Black Panther next week. I'm very, I'm getting very, very. The reception to that has been crazy good. Damn. So I am, and I, I, I caved and I bought the soundtrack for that the soundtrack for, what? for Black Panther. It's mm. fucking good. I can't wait. Oh, I have a gift for you, Nick. Oh, great! I can't wait. Um, <laughs> my other hype uh, is probably going to be for. Uh, Fucking uh, Subnautica, because yeah. damn that that yeah. game has its hooks in me deep, and I can't wait to get back in and build more of my habitat. Uh, I'm gonna say thank you. I'm gonna be kind of vague on this one, but thank you, E3, hmm. for a really really unsusp- mm-hmm. unexpected reason. Uh, so I'm just gonna say thank you. We'll talk more about that later. But the yeah. check. <laughs> is in the mail. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Uh, and uh, you know what? My, I'm going to give a fuck you this week to... Uh, fuck it. I haven't done it in a while. Fuck Konami. Yeah, fuck those guys. Fuck Make em. a new soccer game, why don't you? Fuck you. What Crispy said. They're already making new Fuck you, game. Butters, for being so damn you cute. You fucking asshole. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Don't be mad. You look nice. Okay. Anyways, that's our show, guys. Thank you so much for listening. Oh. What? What? Yeah, I forgot. New Wes Anderson movie comes out this year too. Mm. Oh yeah, Isle, Isle of Dogs. Isle of Dogs. Isle of Dogs. Looks Dogs, so yeah. good. Fuck you. It looks good. <laughs> okay. There's a lot to look forward to right End now. Anyways, thank you guys so much for listening. Fourplayernetwork.com is the website. Of course, like I said, if there's anything we talked about this entire show that you want to chime in on, leave us a comment at fourplayernetwork.com for the post for this episode, and we'll get to it at the beginning of next week. Uh, discord.gg slash four player is the place to be if you want to be a part of our community um and oh yeah i didn't i forgot to mention the top of the show so i'll just go ahead and say it now all of our top 10 videos with the exception of chris davis's are done they're out there uh all of our top 10s of 2017 are available to watch check them out please leave let us know what you think of our list let us know what your lists are those are that's we always want to know that kind of stuff as well um and of course, we'll get we'll get the uh, once Chris Davis's videos out, we'll get to work on the community and the top ten highlights of the year videos. So those will be coming in the coming weeks as well. And yeah, that's it, guys. That's it. Thanks for listening. Uh, yep. We'll be back next Thursday night, eight thirty p.m. Central Standard Time, for yep. another episode. Good night. Bye, guys. Good night.